All right, so quick recap from last session. Uh, over the next few minutes before Lord Never Ember called order once again, the party talked with a few delegates. So during this time, Iluna discussed with King Melendrock his reaction to her mother. He revealed that he and Mia had met about 150 years ago prior to a meeting of elves known as the Sylvan Accord. He said that they had fallen in love, but Mia's mother, Vildara, had a particular distaste for wild elves and refused to allow her daughter to be with one. The two continued sneaking around Vildara's back, and when the accord was finalized, Mia gave Melendrock a pendant identical to her own, but imbued with magic that would take them to the Feywild on Nights of the Full Moon. He then assumed that once Vildara learned of Iluna's racial features, that Mia was kicked from her home. King Melendrock explains that he has not seen Mia face to face since they were last together at the accord, but that he does occasionally travel to the Feywild to view her from the seeing pools. Albina stood and spoke with Alder Ravengard, the leader of Baldur's Gate's Flaming Fist. She praised his exploits from legend, and he explained his perspectives on the matter at hand. Zash spoke with Romalia Haventree, the representative for the Harpers, and Elia. Zash asked Romalia if she knew him, and she said yes, and that she knew he was a new member of her organization. They then discussed her perspective on the dragons. Um... Zash then spoke with Ellie about her opinion on how to handle the dragon egg issues. She said that the dragons, while evil, are not the ones trying to summon a god. Nylor then also spoke with Elia, and she explained that the best course of action would be to try and stop the white dragon first. Because the cult is... And I did forget to mention this, but her reasoning there is that the other dragons already have cults built up around them. Um, that the white dragon is still, like, the cult is still trying to form around that one, uh, you know, and move into the mountains near Ice Spire Peak, so. Um, after the pause, Lord Never Ember regained order and began going around the table, allowing the delegates to explain their pledges, desires, and concerns. The group then had to make a decision on how they would handle the cult whether they would kill the worm speakers and kill the dragons slash eggs, kill the worm speakers and leave the dragons slash eggs, or capture the worm speakers and kill the dragons, mm -hmm. or capture the worm speakers and leave the dragons. And the conclusion was uh, sort of brought to an end when you guys decided that you were going to go the path of the Harpers and the Order of the Gauntlet, where you would be trying to capture the worm speakers and kill the dragons because it is better not to leave them uh roaming the world it was then that uh elia provided you guys with or sorry not elia um but uh the harpers were able to give you guys a little bit of guidance on where the rumors have been sort of expounding about the whereabouts of the various cults um that north towards Mount Hot now, uh, that the red cult had that the, the, the red dragon cult has been noted, um, that there has been a lot of talks of odd thunderous magic coming from the east side of Neverwinter Wood. Obviously, the white dragon has been spotted around the Sword Mountains. There is notable talk of a green dragon within the depths of the Crypto Garden, and Dalen had explained that the green dragon cult has moved into there. And then uh, that black dragon cultists have been spotted near the mire of dead men. And that's kind of where we, uh, that's kind of where we ended. I know last session was a little bit more of a, you know, uh, political session. Um, and so the council was called at that point. Uh, there was, you know, a little bit more time to chat and converse. Um, but then the council was called in the end. Um, and so I, I know that you guys had, uh, I, I know you guys had talked a little bit. And so the scene that I sort of want to play on is as most of the other delegates are beginning to leave, um, Elia pulls you all aside and she says, Lord Never Ember has requested your private audience before you leave. And 
as everyone is making their way out, uh, all the other delegates and representatives, uh, Lord Never Ember is sitting back at his seat. Uh, and once the door is shut, he looks at all of you and says, So I've heard good things about you. You. I was wondering if it was true, the stories I've been hearing about the group from Phandalin. Uh, I'm sorry, can you repeat that Hello? one more time? Can you uh, hear me? Uh, I, I, I did, I did hear you, you said, I oh. I can't hear anything. Oh, I, I mean, you're cutting, your mic is cutting out. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you too. Okay. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Let's give uh, Cece here. Cece, can you hear shit? Yeah. Something's not working. You like, like in the middle of all this? Are you kidding me? I'm trying. I don't know where. One of my OBS windows is. You guys ever have that when one of your OBS windows just goes rogue? I'm still learning OBS. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't know how to work with OBS still. <laughs> I don't know where my I don't I don't know where one of my windows went. Robo like, uninstaller uninstaller. I'm like, just <laughs> looking around looking around my monitors like where the fuck are you? She probably needs to fix her settings and go back. She probably, something probably disconnected in her. It's going to like her desktop or something instead of her headset. Because I've done that every time I unplug my, la, um, my, my, uh, how do you call this? Cam, my webcam. It'll mm -hmm. automatically try to change the device. Technical difficulties. We got technical, technical difficulties. Guys, guys, look how pretty my keyboard looks. I know, that's nice. I feel like Albina needs that oh, wait, keyboard. Here, here we go, here we go. Actually, there we go. Oh, oh look at that. Diablo. Roman numerals. Oh, I love are gonna, it. Are you going to play Diablo 4 when it drops? Oh, absolutely. Are you going to play D2 Remaster? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I played I played it whenever it was a thing. Mm -hmm. I played I played Diablo 3 later. But Yeah, I mean, I I'll definitely so much D2 when it was like the current game. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I have, I I have moments from it. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I I know whenever I I I know whenever I started looking into keyboards, and I saw that like this set was a, like you can get a desk mat that is this, like that's so that's fucking cool. Sick. That's yeah. I, I want to track it down. Oh shit. I work to make sure this isn't a problem every week. Um, you know what? Because I know kind of what, uh, because I know what Stacy's uh, answer to this is going to be. Um, because we'll still we'll still address the um, you know, the matter at hand. Um, after everyone. You know, at like once we once we get through the discussion with Lord Never Ember, uh, that he is going to uh, broker with you guys, um, would any of you wanted to go and 
like associate with any of the delegates outside of the council room or would you guys have wanted to do anything in the evening after the council meeting because take into consideration there was only a few hours left in the day considering the meeting took place like seven eight o'clock at night took about an hour or so so it's closer to like nine o'clock at night whenever it's finishing up we did want to ask was general sabine there she was not she was not at the council meeting but she is there you 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 might assume that she is there on the you know on castle never grounds that's who i need to talk to okay I don't know if that's like a ask for never ever thing or just go searching, but yeah. Would probably make sense. I mean, you could definitely ask uh, ask Lord Never Ember. Mm -hmm. There's nothing specific I would want to do. Actually, I actually think I'm good too. Okay, uh, Smith and Septus. Uh, no, that's nothing I want to do. No, I'm good. What's the question? What are we doing? Going off uh, to Never Ember? It was uh it was just more if you would have done anything after the council meeting, like gone and talked to uh any of the other delegates, or if you would have gone you know if you would have gone out to you know, out on the town, gone anywhere, wanted to talk to somebody. No, I probably would just tag along with the group. Okay. Um, yeah, cause so uh actually Tony, um I did have a question because uh, Iluna would. Iluna did extend an invitation to a uh, to a ceremony. Hey, can welcome back. Yes, we can. Oh, because I can hear you. So, okay. what have I missed? Uh, you have not missed anything because I was sort of I was sort of well, like catching. I've, I've heard some. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I heard something about trying to find out what everyone was doing. Right. That's yeah. That's what I'm currently trying to attend to. So, uh, Tony. I Luna would have extended an invitation to a ceremony that was taking place at the Temple of Saloon that night to call in, uh, you know, to basically be together under the darkness of the new moon. Um, being that she is a moon elf, the uh, saloon is, you know, the goddess of the moon. There is a celebration done at the new moon, uh, which is that night, and she, uh, she had made comment that she was going to extend that invitation to you, um, being that you are a moon druid. So I was not sure if you were going to partake in that or if you were going to, uh, you know, do anything else in the meantime. Um, how far after the council meeting is this going on? Uh, it would be like you know, later, later in the evening, you know, calling it in basically at midnight, you know, as the ceremony is commencing. So figuring the ceremony, uh, the council meeting gets out about nine o'clock. Um, this would be taking place maybe about an hour and a half later. Um, there, what, what I know during like a new moon would the, would the stars be still in the sky or not so much start starts would be in the sky there's just no presence of the moon so it's kind of a it's kind of a spiritual moment for those that worship the moon and worship sahanin and saloon where kind uh almost on like a metaphysical level you're at your weakest where if you're bathed under the light of the full moon you know you're you're gaining the power of your god and goddess and inspiration uh, this night you would be at your weakest. So there is a there's a general ceremony and gathering of those that I'd be worship at my weakest her. Without I'm not a moon druid though. Oh, that's right. You're a star druid. Yeah, that's why I asked about oh. the stars. Like I I really don't care about the moon. Oh 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 yeah okay. I was like wait why? And then there yeah. Think that would, I don't think that would affect me in, in, in any specific way no no it's, it's not like... it's it's not gonna make you weaker it's more of like a it's it's more of like you know uh like i don't want to say i don't want to say spiritual uh symbol like a symbolic thing you know with the moon but that's fine if nylor would not have gone um that's no problem in in any shape or form yeah there was a general invitation to the rest of the p5 but i didn't imagine the rest of the story go on. i kept thinking you were a moon druid and I know Star. I know Circle of the Moon is vastly different. That's the, and and I think it's because I keep thinking of Shaylin. 
Yeah. She was um, moon druid. I mean, I th I think I would want to turn in early early because I know we have a big day tomorrow, traveling, and facing off against the wizard dude guy, and I kind of want to process everything that went on with the meeting tonight. So, I think I will politely pass and wish her well on her ceremony. Okie dokie. Uh, no problem well. at all. So, um, no problem. yeah, so the, uh, so, Lord Never Ember, he is, um, yeah. he has basically approached you guys, uh, and, uh, he is, um, he basically he's basically approached you guys, guys and says, you know, I've heard of the exploits of your group coming from Phandalin. And uh, I wanted to know if it is true what I hear. What is it that you hear? What, yeah, what do you hear? I've... I heard that you were able to foster an agreement between the dwarves that have taken on the job of reclaiming an old forgotten temple and a group of displaced tabaxi. I've heard that you were able to save a notable figure down there from certain doom, too, in fact, and that... You also put a stop to an issue at a local flour mill. Uh oh. Would neither? No, did any of this happen with Dinor? It was all with Vanadar, right? That was Vanadar, yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna be kind of in the yeah, back. Yeah, that that would be that would be more Iluna and uh, Zash, Zash that would know most of that stuff. I forgot what happened at the flower Ooh. mill when uh, when he mentioned the flower person? mill. Zash like audibly cringes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think Iluna would probably make this like that wasn't our favorite adventure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gonna just kind of like side eyes Iluna like oh. Yeah, the flour mill. We did our best. We <laughs> did. Um, yeah, he, uh... The notable people that we helped or saved, is that, I'm forgetting, is that Greymane? No, I mean, it would have been, uh, it would have been Big Al Calzorn, who was a notable sheriff. Oh. And, uh, also Adabra, who has come up here. Come to Neverwinter, speak in the yeah. speak in the tales of the heroes of Phandalin. So, word has gotten out. We, we've we've been on a, many a, an adventure. And he nods and says, "That is why when Elia came to me, I had already heard." Of some of what had gone on. I did not have faces to put to the name. But I'm glad that you are here willing to stand by our side. Neverwinter needs heroes like you once again. You know, it's funny that you bring up Phandalin because I have a request, sir. I are you can are you familiar with Harbin Wester down in Phandalin? The name is familiar. I don't make it down there too often. Well, he's the town master. Um hmm. and when we came up here, he requested me to ask General Sabine directly on his behalf if there was any way that she could spare some backup. I mean if if you've heard of all these tales, then surely you must know that the town is... It, it's in pretty rough shape, and it's not looking too positive when we left. You know, there was a 
hole in the side of the, the tavern. They had just lost a major resource in the flour mill because of the red dragon cultists literally blowing it up. Um, they're under constant threat of the white dragon. And honestly, the town is just completely and totally unprepared for all of it. I mean, we are basically funding the city right now. The town, rather. Any nods? So, so working on that. Um, safe space, though, at Axe Home now. And refuge, I suppose it's meant to be. I... I believe I can spare a small troop. With what we are facing right now, I cannot spare a battalion. But I can send a small squadron. We can post them on major points around the city. Have them work with this Wester gentleman you are speaking of. In order for, to... Sorry. For that in particular... I think they would want to go to Lenine Greywind, as she is, kind of has taken up the mantle of town defenses and whatnot. Then I will take that into consideration when I give the directive. Now, in response to all of this, there is something that I must ask you personally. There is a small town down along the high road known as Lylon. It used to be a small way station that allowed for travelers to rest and periodically has sprouted into popularity. But recently with the Black Dragon Cult and also some unknown goings-ons down there. They have been calling for our aid. I understand that you have some business to attend to after this council meeting, but I was in the hopes that you may be able to stop down there at some point with word from Neverwinter that... I am trying to put together funding for them to rebuild the town. Um, okay. I'm oh, sorry, stop down, stop down where? Uh, if you look at the map... High road? Uh, yeah. Where exactly? So the high road, uh, the high road is the road that never went her... It, it's the road that goes right, right down along the Sword Coast. So where you have the Tribor Trail... Uh, which leads down to the road that goes to Phandalin. Lylon is south of there, so... Oh, it's, it's, How did it's I miss that? All the way at the bottom. Uh, because this is a new map, it's, and the old map did not uh, have that. It wasn't there. Oh, right. <laughs> it didn't right. miss it. Because if you notice, this map doesn't have... Uh, this map doesn't have a few number of things. Uh, for example, this is the map that you guys are more recognizable of. That has the Mountain's Toe Gold Mine and Umbridge Hill and all that jazz. That uh, was the Dragon Barrow. And the Dragon Barrow. Oh, that That's Dragon Barrow. <laughs> oh. Okay. We got a cool sword from it. Um. So he wants us to go down there and help them out. And Essentially with the dragon. He's asking. Um, he is okay. he is more asking you guys to uh to go down there and help them like like help provide some kind of safety net for them while they are rebuilding the town. That's what he's that's what gotcha. he's more asking you. I mean, should we tell him that we're after we Deal with the mage. We plan on going back down to Fandle and Anoise. We could stop down there for a couple of days. 
Uh, yeah. Yeah, we could. So, do you want to go mage there, then Phandalin to deal with the white dragon? Yeah, but but I feel like we need to put like a strict like time. Like like yeah, we can help you for a couple of days. But like, if things get more entangled here, we're going to have to leave and end up coming back. We're trying to have a Gargan to kill that's threatening. Yeah, and and two new settlements and one that's like already on. Technically, the black dragons right down there as well around that area. Right. So like, yeah. We're trying to put out too many goddamn fires. I just like I throw I throw. Like I, I walk around a forest and I just like sort of strike a flint and steel, yes. <laughs> and I just keep walking and I do it again, like a few feet down the road. Yes, I am. I'm seeing this now. Right. Don't worry. Um. So he 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 looks okay. at you and he says, uh, he says, I understand this is a lot on your plates, especially with the cultists and everything that we're asking you to deal with. I'm not asking you to go there immediately. There is a small force there that has been gathered that is aiding them at the moment. I am just a little fearful that it will not be enough in time. So when you can make your way there, I would appreciate it. Do they have any specifics on what we might face down there? Are they dealing with cultists? They have not said about... They have not... Well, the sightings of the cultists are spreading far across the realm. But from what they have said is that there is a... There are ominous goings-ons in the forests and that a different cult i believe they might be i believe they might be tangential to the cult that we have not yet pinned down and he sort of you know plops his finger yeah. down right on the uh, the blue circle we have not heard word of any sightings of Blue Dragon Cultus, but from what we heard from Lylon, that there has been sightings of the Cult of Talos. And we believe that they could possibly be working with one another, or might have similar interests with one another. Well. Okay. Um. So, so you think they would be good, time-wise, for us to go to Phandalin first, help Phandalin out, possibly deal with the White Dragon, backtrack, go over to this town, and help out there? I believe that is the course of action that would be the most accommodating. Okay. Um, I don't speak for my group, but I think that's possible, and I'll look at everybody else. Are you guys good with that? We can take this on. I feel like that's a good timeline. Yes. Sounds good to me. We've got our priority, but this doesn't mean we can't add that one in. Yeah, I mean, I'll just go with the flow. Go with the flow. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well then, it looks like we, uh, have some sort of a plan, then. I'm making a massive Is there note. a... Is there a contact we should seek out in this town? Ah, oh, goddammit, Stacy, making me have to look up the adventurer. Oh, good lord! <laughs> Give me one second. Um, no. 
There, no, there, there is. I just, uh, I, I didn't have it pulled up. Um, yes, here we go. I mean, um, he says there is an old Iluskian gentleman down there by the name of Audrey Silverspun. He runs the peculiarity shop. He's a good friend of mine. Out of game. What's an Luskian? Someone who is, is from a... Luskin. A Luskian. A I thought it was. <laughs> An Iluskian man. Here, I'll put it in. Uh, I'll put it in the P five chat for you guys. Nope, that's my tw that's my oh, Twitch handle. You guys don't need that. Iluskian yeah. man named Audrey Silverspun. You said he runs the what store? It just sounded cool. Ah, uh, the peculiarity shop. I definitely want to go there. He said, if she is still there, though, there is another. Griselda Copperrot. She was the one that I had originally sent down there to oversee the construction. I have not heard back from her in some time, but she would be the one that would have the best contact with me. But Audrey, he has been a long-standing member of that town for some time. Mm -hmm. So there's two yeah. names, Griselda Copperrots and Aubrey Silverspun. Well, and she's it, the one he and, originally sent down and has yeah, her from? Yeah, Aubrey, uh, Aubrey is the one who runs the shop there, and uh, so I put on here, shopkeep, and Griselda Copperrot is the one that he sent to oversee construction. There you go. Oversee construction by Never Ever. Okay. Well, it's an honor you would trust us with this task. Well, we'll get to for, it in time. For right now, I see no reason not to. Elia speaks quite highly of you and your exploits. Right. Is there nothing further we might need to know? Uh, regarding what? This. Before we depart this evening. Because we're still at the, like, council meeting, right? I mean, you're, you're, you're there with him. He, he <laughs> has, you know, pulled you aside to talk to you privately. Okay. That's what I was confirming. Yeah. I'm just trying to find a way to take my leave without saying, okay, bye. I mean, you can just say, like, all right, well, we'll I, got, I got somewhere to go. <laughs> you, can, you can say that. It's not like you're beholden to him. If everyone, um, that's what I was going to say, if everyone is good with that information, um, we will... Uh, I will let uh, Stacy explain um, what uh, I'll, I'll let her explain what the uh, you know information she was able to gather from uh, from King Melandrock, and then we'll move on to Zash talking to uh, who do you want to talk to again? Well, did that even need to happen now that I kind of just asked Lord Neverember, because I was going to talk to Sabine about sending troops down to Fandolin. Oh, oh, if that's like, what, I oh, like, oh, I thought you were, oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were planning on owning up to the crimes against humanity that you committed, like, a day and a half ago, but that's cool. I literally have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, sweet. What? Um, yeah, what? that's fine, what? that's fine. Um, then yes, Stacey, if you want to, 
if you want to give them, uh, you know, a, a brief overview of the things that we, uh, or that, yeah, the brief overview of those, you know, things that you learned about uh, King Melendrock. Um, so I presume this is the next day. Yeah. The next morning and we're all gathered. Yes. Like, this, yeah, this will be, yeah, we'll, whatever. we'll fast forward. We'll fast forward to the next day. Um, you know, with the fullest intention that you guys are going to be getting up, meeting up together and starting that march up to, uh, <laughs> up, up, up to go and fight this mage. I'm going to roll my d6 for my will, will or woe, because I yes. feel like we'll be using that soon. Yes, please. Oh, please. So, well, as we are all gathered, um, I suppose you would know, I feel like Iluna would have, You, she would have been up all night. She would have come into the inn, not like down. She never would have made it back to her room. She would have taken rest somewhere. After the moonstone ceremony, or not, oh my god, that moonstone, right? So she would come in and greet everyone, say, um, so I've got some news to share. Uh, I imagine you saw me speaking with King, um, Melendrock, that was the guy's name. I feel it is important, as uh, we are going to head on, taking on these dragons, that you know he is confirmed himself to be my father. Um, we spoke at the uh, moon, new moon ceremony and know each other briefly. Two details to share is that he has connections with a druid that helped him plane and I suppose I'll be keeping in touch with him about that. And that Oh, oh sorry, go ahead. All the, there are rumors his son Nerovane is a worm speaker, but King Melendrock is pretty secure that he unfortunately had been killed by a green dragon. His son Nerovane. He was exiled and then it was learned he was killed by a dragon. Okay, okay, okay. But it was great to get to know my dad. So So the King Elf of the High Forest is your dad. Seems to be. We have matching pendants. He talks about my mother in a way that no one else could if he didn't, you did can not we, know her well. Can we schedule a session with Ma Maury? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's better than it's Look, it's better yeah, than flying out to Jerry. It's the same. I mean, it okay. <laughs> means we're kin. Can I insight check her? Uh you don't need to. I mean, she's she's oh. fully telling you the truth. As far as you, as far as you can tell. Okay. Yeah, um, like, like you've, I mean, you've, you've spent, you've, you know, you've spent enough time with Iluna to, to tell, like, you know, this, this is definitely up and up on her. Things are weird things she'd make up. Okay. I mean, like, because um, all I know to of that, her is that she's, the, like, a roamer. So. A roamer, yes. I could give details they they met in some my elven accord I mean, sylvan accord i mean to be honest i don't need to know how your parents but met and you the, happened but uh 
there's an added tidbit. <laughs> Her, my mother was there through Valdara. Valdara is my grandmother. Thank goodness is, we killed her. That's was that the ghost in Axholm? The Banshee. So the Banshee in Axholm was your grandmother. I mean, you're not going to go all long... off Banshee on us, are you? <laughs> what? <laughs> do it, do it. <laughs> she, she had hatred towards all. Um, non is it non high elves, non moon elves, whatever. She fucking hated anybody that wasn't an elf, elf. but <laughs> she had she did not like elves that were not you know sun elves or moon elves. That you know, it's fucking dirt elves and yeah. under dark denizens <laughs> and monstrosities that wow. call themselves the Fey and fucking rock munchers and knife eared mongrel mutts. <laughs> I mean, little quarterlings. Despite, you know, Those are some like, nice words. <laughs> the king's Whoa, position he was he—he he was the king before, during the silver Sylvan Accord, right? Oh yeah. When they met, yeah. yeah. Despite his position, Veldara hate detested him. So, uh, I don't feel like I, I have that alignment. Thank goodness. I mean, props to your I'm mom. I'm glad for I never met her. Up. <laughs> that's, that's impressive, honestly. I mean, your mom's not royalty, is she? So they're not married. Well, I mean, she she's a kid. She doesn't need to get married. She's got <laughs> him. For, well, I mean, I don't know how long child support lasts in elf culture, but. <laughs> Uh, oh, it it no lasts about two. It, it lasts to about your hundred. Yeah, it lasts to about your hundred and eightieth birthday, and you know, then it's <laughs> then you have then you have to go to counseling. <laughs> yeah, Mama, I love that bag. <laughs> we've um, got a contact in the council that may be helpful to us. And didn't didn't you mention a brother? You have a brother? Well, half brother, stepbrother? in the in the council. <clears throat> I have two brothers, but I mentioned Nerovane because he was brought up during the council meeting. Right. Who was it? Dalen D Winterhound. Dalen, Dalen has unsavory rumors to spread, unfortunately, because mm. I back his stance, but. King Melendrock strongly claims that that is not true, and Nerovin is been killed by a very particular okay. thing, too. Well, a, a green, dragon. green dragon. Didn't I say that? But it's a very I'm special. Sure it, there's there's another reason why it's a special um, green dragon. Well, I mean, we, eventually we we. Will Iluna see. doesn't know though, does she? He told you. He told you straight up that Algatharis' mother Just was killed. Because, yeah. The other... I didn't know if there was some other detail. No. Yeah, the other the brother's mother was killed. The other brother's mother. Yeah. Also killed. By the same dragon. <laughs> Can I get same a dragon. picture of your family tree, please? Because... <laughs> that, I, <laughs> I feel like she needs one to keep it all straight. <laughs> Her other Damn brother's elves. mother and her brother killed by. Oh, that's cool. Okay, okay. Same dragon. Um, wow. Okay. So. Anyhow. So now we got money, right? Oh, oh yeah. Really the royal coffers uh, now. I um. The most pressing matter is is capturing these worm speakers for information and and I suppose doing what we will with the dragons. Okay. Oh, okay there. I wasn't seeing Nylor in the in the Discord call and I was like, do we realize he's gone? 
But he, it, for some reason, it just showed the six of us and not him. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. I'm here in spirit. Yeah, I was like, did, did he <laughs> drop out? I went and looked at the chat. <laughs> I heard him the whole time, so. <laughs> so, uh, that's all. What you guys get up to? Nothing. How's breakfast? Um, well, <laughs> I, uh, God, I already forgot her name. Hold on. Who, who was the, the Harper chick I talked to? Uh, that would have been, uh, Romelia Haventree. Right. Uh, so, I talked to Romalia at the end of the Accord yesterday. Um, and I suppose I should tell you guys that ever since we left Phandalin, I was sort of inducted into the Harpers? Um, gasp. I haven't had much <laughs> contact with any of them. I feel like I'm still kind of on like a trial basis right now. Um, but yeah, that's a thing. Oh. Um, I've done a lot of research into them with my sister, and I found out that they, they tend to do the right thing and. As far as I know, there's no nefariousness going on within the organization, so I think for the most well, part we can trust them. Um, out of game, do do this? Uh, do any of us? We've heard of the Harpers, ge generically. Like, there's. I mean, you you literally just um, heard about the Harpers, you know, the day ago. But we, there's no generic. Info no, about they're them like a secret them? organization. So. Yeah, they're. Okay. I mean, they're. They're. Yeah, they're fairly. They're fairly low key. Yeah. I, I was KGB just trying to figure out a response a based on what they would. Well, it's good to have contacts and allies, I guess. Yeah, we're I mean, all on the same helps. page. They they brought you into their circle. At the meeting? No, it was um back in Phandalin when we were leaving Phandalin to come here. I was okay. approached by a member. Um, so they trusted I'm... you before then, which yeah, I mean, is good. <laughs> funny enough, they are. They were. I don't know if they still are, but they are hard pressed to find what we have in our bag. Mm. Do you so. speak to them about it? Or no. Or no? no. I haven't okay. told them really anything. I, uh... We'll just keep it that way. Yeah, I, I didn't think it would be right to divulge that information without talking to everyone first. Respectable decision. Yeah, I mean, I, I still feel like I I don't even know what to do with this egg sandwich mm -hmm. that's rotting away in the bag. I was just about to say, like <laughs> you're sitting in a fucking tavern, <laughs> and I love I I love well, the save so good. Doesn't <laughs> rot in the bag bag holdings. This is true. Good. It's like a suspended space. Nice and wow. safe. Right. I'm sure we'll we'll find a use for it later. I'm sorry, are yeah. we still in town or are we having all this conversation while traveling? We're in the floor? inn. We I I, I oh. it's it's up to you guys. You could have it at the inn, if you could have it on your way to the north, it's up to you. There's you oh, guys, you like guys I, got. I thought it was like an in combo. Like we just I mean, woke up and like we're all meeting and chatting. Yeah. Because because you guys have in in like to get up to where the mage is, you guys have like a good day and a half's travel 
to get to oh. the to get to the town to get to the town of uh middle garden you know where the mage is so you know if you whenever yeah. you start out it's you're going to have to rest you know closer to there you know by the time nightfall hits so, um I, I just have one question for the group um do we want to take the dragon egg to the tower of a necromancer Ooh. who we suspect is extremely powerful or do we feel safer leaving it with somebody we trust Wait, are you asking this in character or out of character? First out character. of character. I mean, it could be either or, but... It's kind of the same. Yeah. Well, uh, in the tavern. <laughs> valid I feel question. like it's easier to have Leave a discussion. Leave it with who? Now. Your family? Um, I mean... Who's aware? That's an, that's an option. We could... I mean, I could hand it over to the Harpers. That'd be on you. Do you trust them? I mean, it's a group decision. I don't. Mm. I know us best. Unfortunate. Oh, I, I, I agree. At taking it up to such a powerful person might not be very wise. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. How? I mean, how much do you trust the Harpers? I mean... Will they even take it? Are they aware? They're... I mean, they're aware that it exists. They don't know where it's at. Um... I, I don't think they would use it for... Any, you know, like, personal on? games or... Games for their you organization You're in a raven with their Lucas. Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> no. Is your phone ringing? No. <laughs> I'll just turn the lights off. It's probably all it is. It might be it might be catching, you know, catching the flickering of an LED somewhere. I mean, the necromancer doesn't know what we have in the bag of holding. No, I think but we I should mean, be good. If he kills us and then takes our If we're shit. not successful. <laughs> If he kills us, that's, will necromance that's a, a dragon, group, not us. <laughs> <laughs> that's the spirit. <laughs> oh my god! Or a new adventurers will kill the dragon. It's like Which... it's like the scene straight and... out of Game of Thrones, rising the the dead dragon and... up. Yes. Yeah. And undead dragon, dragon babies grow. An undead dragon, and adult like dragon. Baby. Um, undead dragons are a th really undead dragons are a thing. The thing you have to right. be concerned about is more dracoliches. That's where you run into a lot of issues. I I don't even know what the fuck that is. A dracolich. So do you know what? A, do you know what a lich is? Yeah. Okay. So imagine imagine like you know a wizard that turns into a lich. This is a dragon that turns into a lich. Oh. How about yeah. I, yeah, Can I roll one of those? Back. That's what I want to play. <laughs> That's what I want to be. I want to play a Dracolich. <laughs> Dracoliches are Dude. fucking baller. Yeah, it's basically, uh, yeah, it's it's basically just, whereas like, you know, uh, a necrom or like, you know, a high ranking wizard has to go through the process of becoming a lich. It's kind of the same thing. Like a powerful dragon has to go through the process of becoming a Dracolich. Uh, yes, yes, but, that is that is the picture, Tony. Um, or this, you that know, would take quite some time, I presume. Oh, okay. Wow, that is really cool. Yeah, they're fucking badass. Because we we only have a dragon egg. It would yeah, have I to mean, like, so for, so they have it like wouldn't their, be full grown for a while. They have like their <laughs> mem cats and stuff. Can I have one of those as a mount? <laughs> <laughs> Can I just get a Dracolich that I can like, fly? Can we go World of Warcraft here real quick? Just get some mounts. I mean, Seth is has an undead horse. It's true, he does. With armor. 
Daddy. Yes, that is true. I just want an undead that undead horse will walk right through okay. those undead. Yeah, things. that's what I'm waiting for. I'm well, waiting for the. I'm waiting for Seftis to like fucking ride up on this necromancer and be like, "Yo, bitch, horse stomp." Horse stomp. I think we should leave it. With I already have so much undead. Uh, I mean, well, I could def. I I definitely think I could leave it with my sister. Yeah. I mean, and we could just stop on the way back to mm-hmm. pick it back up on our way Baby- back to the Babysitting? Yeah. <laughs> does, I mean, she already she knows have about a it, right? secure place? She does. A secure place? I don't know if we should leave it outside of the bag of holding, though. I know, the belt of so holding we, keeps I feel it like we should secret. leave it with I mean, the bag of holding with her. <laughs> I mean, I feel like this is a little presumptuous, but I would imagine that my sister has, at least my family has their own bag of holding. It, I think so, too. Come on, DM. Yeah. I Probably. Mean, like, they regularly go on, you know, long trips and shit. So Adventure and sense. stuff. Uh, pick, pick okay, even, yeah, well, pick, that's all I wanted to make sure. Pick, pick even or odds, uh, JJ. Fuck me. Just pick even or odds. Even. Yeah, they have one. Okay. Good. Yeah, my sister, she's a big bag girl. She has, like, 18 <laughs> different bag of holdings, like... 18? Yeah, I mean, like, you know, some girls are shoe girls. Me, We're I died that. Really can know. I, can I like borrow one? Girl. I mean, that's a question you gotta ask her. One time, I'll just I give it accidentally to my... moved one out of its designated location, and I almost lost an arm. So she, the thing, the thing is, is that like, like she at any one time has like maybe one to spare, just because she's a she's a cobalt soul monk. She has so many books that she has to keep at any one she's time. That like, she, yeah, she keeps she keeps having to go out and like like go on you know, go on these, like, expeditions to get some money just to buy another bag of holding to house all the books she has. I'm a princess. Yes. I need a cool bag. Hey, I mean, your dad has, like, 180 years of making up. He probably, he should have some. I should have asked. Listen. (laughs) Anyhow. I don't normally say this, but Guilt trip every penny out of every copper out of him, <laughs> Iluna. Okay. Well, excuse I'll me, be princess. Giving one <laughs> okay, so okay. do we do we want to RP living it with your sister, or can we just like fast forward? Here's the here's an egg. Take yeah, like this is, here's you got an extra one of them bags. We'll back. Yeah, we can <laughs> we we can say we can <laughs> we can say that you guys stop off there. Um, you, um, yeah, you guys stop off there. You talk to Ayani. Uh, Zash explains the situation to her, and she, without question, uh, accepts. She understands the danger that you guys are walking into, and uh, you give her, like, a brief understanding of uh, what's all going down, and she says that she will do what she can to continue the research into the egg, um, try to figure out if there's any way to resolve that issue and um, that she will keep it safe even if it costs her her life. Um, I'll, I'll just tell her, you know, like, God forbid if you don't hear from us in, like, a month to do what you see fit with it. A month. A dragon I mean, omelet, hey, if you will. Hey, give us at least some time. Like, if we don't come back in, like, five days, don't just immediately assume we're dead. You know, maybe we're just <laughs> super fucked up and it's taken a Give us a chance, you know? Yeah, she's, uh... I mean, Albina can always message back and forth. Not if she's dead. I can revive one person. <laughs> No. Okay. <laughs> what if you die first and then Albina dies second? Well, then... Or melee are doing a bad job of protecting me. Really fucked up. Listen, if a dragon is holding in, I anime will, I'm sorry, will pick but... it up. <laughs> anime. anime will live. Um, she'll DM, bring can the. I, can we like give the egg her. to my other character that I play on Tuesdays and just put it in his bag? <laughs> <Feed it to laughs> oh his yeah, feed, feed it to his patron. There you go. <laughs> 
That'd be you see, way to you see this, guy. you see this frog folk walk up to you guys. He has a bat. He has a giant backpack on his back. He says, "Throw it in there." I don't know what your character sounds like, so I can't. You know. I don't have a voice, but I kind of uh, wish I could do that. Why is really. Iggy imitating your character? No. <laughs> Yo, boss! This guy's over here wanting to get our fucking egg. You want to show him what to do? <laughs> Oh my god, we can have Iggy and Dibs fight out to the death because they're yes! little teeny tiny green things. <laughs> um, Dibs is red. Okay. Oh, my bad. No. My bad. Oh. Red and he'll be he'll, he'll he'll walk up and be like, "All right, truce," and like give him like is a nice. Is he a goblin and... as well? No, he's a grung. So he'll oh. he'll he'll walk up to Iggy and be like, "All right, truce. You could have it," and they'll they'll shake, and then he will grung poison him. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, um, real quick, Lucas. On on Tuesday, I was trying to feed a turkey leg to my patron, and a cat saw me. Mm -hmm. And the DM made the cat uh f follow me for the rest of the campaign. I tried putting the cat in my bag, and I he I failed the dexterity saving throw. So now I have a cat companion that follows me around wherever I go. Nice. I love it. I love it. <laughs> One step closer to shoving small orphan children in that bag. <laughs> okay, so if we're going up north, fighting the mage. Oh, real quick. Yep. My Luna needs to buy um disguise kit because suddenly. Twenty five gold. Just take that out of your coffers, and we will say that you have it. He long rested before. Like, you guys did long rest. And then, yes. Okay, because I'm still like looking over my spells, trying to make sure if I want to change anything. I just want to make sure. <laughs> yep. 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 You're all good. You said it was 25. So One, out two. of Iluna's or like the parties? It's up to the party if they would, you know. It is. It is up to the party. Um, you're a princess now, so you're, like, excluded kit. from the party funds. <laughs> how you're well, she doesn't have <laughs> any... That's my she dad's money, not my money. Tough luck, princess. Listen, my dad put a lid on my <laughs> fucking kidding. credit card. No, I don't give a shit. Anymore. She has no you money. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so uh, I mean, the disguise kit I'd be using to help whoever I'll, disguise. I'll, I'll be I'll be gracious. You guys have uh, fifty five twenty four in gold. I'll just round it down. You got a you got a one gold discount on that, so you're at an even fifty five hundred. I the, like uh, that plan. In, in, Thanks, in the party princess. Funds. Uh, yeah. She she was able to she was able to flash her like she she has uh she has suddenly gained a flash tiara. Her what, Lucas? Flash her fucking tiara. Think I'm gonna go gross? Think I'm gonna go gross? Because it's pretty funny. This is a PG-13 D&D group, okay? Of course. Oh. Of course. <laughs> TOS. TOS. <laughs> yeah, TOS. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. Alright, so. I will volunteer to keep watch for the first bit of the campaign or bit of the walk well that is where we will take off and continue on with what hey. i have had planned for so long i just wanted to ask real quick because uh -huh. i think last session steve said septus bought um some potions i don't know if he added them or if that was taken from the party funds or I believe he added that to because that was during like we had a whole day to ourselves. Yeah. I Luna made potion. Septus bought. Yeah. I think he was the only person who anything. So I'll say, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll say the fifty-five is what you guys are what you guys are walking out of town with. So you're you're, you're fine because I'm looking at his stuff right now. And it's all good. So good. All right. So you guys begin to make your way Hold north. Up. Yeah, you guys begin to make your way Ooh, north along the high road out of Neverwinter. You were told that the town of Old Middle Garden, which is now known as Raised Garden, is up the high road and down an old abandoned trail. 
and you learned this information from, uh, we'll say that you learned this information from uh, Elia. Just to keep everything in context. And it's been a few hours. You've been you've been traveling for uh, traveling for a good amount of hours, and it's going to take you a few more to get about halfway down the road that leads to there. But as you're heading up the the high road, you come to the road that cuts off to the east. Next to it is a signpost that has some arrows pointing off into the east up the road, and there's a placard on it that said that used to say middle garden and that seems to have been crossed out and then written below it is the word raised garden r-a-z-e-d and then crossed that out and written above it is raised r-a-i-s-e-d now there is a blockade set up there at this you know at this path um, but it's something that you guys are able to traverse around without little issue. So you start heading down that path, and the sun is beginning to set behind you. And as it's dipping beyond the horizon, the sun is starting to go down. You're realizing now that it's probably going to be about the time you're going to have to set up camp and rest for the evening because you still have a few more hours before you would reach the town. You notice something up the road, off to the right, just, just off the road. And at first, the movement behind the tree sort of catches all of your attention. And then you recognize it for what it is, the familiar sight of a flickering campfire. And as you continue forward you eventually see that sitting at this campfire, there is a figure that appears to have something on a stick that he is turning over top of the fire. Um, do you guys do or say anything to garner his attention? How far away are we from him? I'm going to say you're, you know, about 150. 100 feet or so. Okay. We see him in the distance? Yeah, you like you guys, you know, he's he's up there, he's like off to the side. You're mostly seeing like the flickering of the fire through the trees. Uh but you can see that there's like a figure sort of, you know, hunched over it with a uh, you know, with like something over over the fire. Is it just one person? Hello. From what you can see, yes. It it does okay, appear to be um, only be one person. Can I cast uh, more. Um, Wild Companion, which I have never never used because I completely forgot it was a thing. What is that? As an action, I can expend the use of my Wild Chip feature to cast a Find Familiar spell without material components. Oh, okay. When yeah. I cast a spell in this way, the familiar is a fey instead of a beast, and the familiar disappears after three hours. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, okay. what do you What do you want it to be? Can it be like a celestial kind of see-through blue owl with like constellations? Uh, yeah, I'll say that. Uh, I'll say that you know it's it's this, this is a new ability that I don't know you have. It's, it's not a <laughs> new ability. Well, it's a new ability that I I just okay. So it is going to new count to him, Tony. Yeah, yeah, Tony. I mean, you only got this oh, when man. you. Oh my god, it was second level. Um. <laughs> So, we uh, can't... yeah. Oh, I mean, you know, I, I always mess this up. I don't know why it's so hard to remember. Spirit Guardians cannot be cast as a ritual, correct? No. It's just send. It was it was sending that we did as a ritual. Okay. I don't know why. I no, sen sending, sending is also not a ritual. What's it? I don't, where does it say if it can be? I just don't see if, anywhere that tells if it's, me. If it tells, if it's a ritual, there will be a little mark next to the spell that is a book that has an R written on it. Uh, R. So, okay, okay. for example, if you look at P5 real quick, um, I will post a picture from Tony's. That is what it'll look like. It'll have a little R right next to the name, and that means that you can ritual cast it, which means that it takes... The same amount, it takes the normal casting time plus 10 minutes. Okay, okay. So, yes. It's because they're um, 
concentration takes up 10 minutes. That's Con- why. Uh, well, no. Concentration. So it lasts. Is, yeah, it, it lasts for 10 <laughs> minutes. You can concentrate I on Spirit Guardians for that long. Was. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, Tony. So mm-hmm. that's... Yeah. Oh, you can finish with Tony. Okay. I just had a question. Um, so Tony, basic, yeah, you can definitely do that. Now I will say that it's looks are, you know, purely cosmetics, but it technically counts as a fey creature. Cause that is, uh, that is what the, uh, the, the ability does. So it's not, it, it's not completely necessary that we get onto that, but it's like, if it was affected by an ability that is fey versus celestial, it is considered a fey, but it is definitely perfectly fine to be a starry looking owl. Okay, and since it's a friend familiar, no. since it's technically the friend familiar mm-hmm. spell, I can technically mm-hmm. see through its eyes, correct? Yes, you can. Okay, I'm gonna oh. like crouch down. Okay. J- 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 just because I'm gonna go blind and probably deaf, and yep. uh, go ahead and look through the eyes and just get like an aerial view and make sure, get, t- trying to be a little inconspicuous as much as possible, but. Well, I'm assuming flapping of wings aren't very allowed, so... Um, considering owls' wings are 100% by nature designed to be silent, uh, the owl makes no sound. Because that is yeah. that is a real thing. Um, also, by the way, I don't know if you've ever seen this, there's actually an owl out there that is blind, that looks like it has stars in its eyes, and that is what I'm imagining your oh, owl looks like. It's so perfect for what he just did. Yeah. So Amazing. Yeah, it's uh like here's here's another really good good picture. There you go. Uh so yeah. Super That's sick. So cool. I love something you knew about before or you just found it now. Uh no, I've I've known about that. There I that image came to mind when you were describing an owl with like made up of stars was like this owl's eyes. Um Perfect. Yeah, so you, uh, uh yes. Ask if we see anything or any signs that this person had a, a anybody with them or a mount. Uh, you're you're not like really close way. enough they to get like. Alone. You're not really close enough to get like a good view of it. I imagine you guys are walking up, and when you saw this, Nylor cast his ability. Also, um, I wanted to make sure. Sorry, because I was I was between two different spells, and then when you mentioned the R, um, can I cast silence or as a ritual uh, <laughs> on the like, hundred and twenty feet? <laughs> um, did you did you take silence? It's a second level. Oh, there it is. Um, y- yes, you could. It would take ten minutes, and you, um. Like, you can create a sphere of silence somewhere around you, you know, within 120 feet of you. It was because I was wanting to put it around the person. I don't know how long it would take <laughs> for us and to it, walk if, over and if hide. You, I mean, if, if you wanted to cast it as a ritual, you then have to spend the 10 minutes casting this. So if you want, you know, Nylor, Nylor's uh, summoning this companion that he's sending out, do you want to cast silence? Um, as the ritual, yeah. If everyone's okay with that. I don't know if they want to wait or not. It's up to the rest of the group. I, I think, it, personally, I think it's a little unnecessary, because we don't even know what it, like, if it's an enemy, sure, like, that's all fine and dandy to get, like, the jump on them, if you guys want to go that route. I feel like it's a little unnecessary. You should probably save your spell slot. Well, it wouldn't be cast as a ritual. Yeah, she she would be casting it as ritual, which would just take ten minutes. Um, so it doesn't use up a slot. Uh, but I will I will explain to Tony what he sees through uh, his owl's eyes, um, and then that sh- that might give a little bit more credence of if it's necessary to do this. Um, by the way, I am uh, sort of uh, usurping your owl's name to be Zeus, which is the name of that owl. Okay. Um, so, the owl flies forward and swoops down near this man, and you can you get a you don't get a great look at his uh, uh, 
at his features. He sort of has his head over. Um, he has a hood up, but you can see that he is, uh, he has a stick over the fire that is, has a piece of meat on the end of it. And he's slowly turning it over occasionally. Um, and then at one point he takes a bite out of it and continues cooking it over the fire. Just the one guy? Just the one. Just like a normal humanoid? Uh, from what you can tell, uh, he's, I mean, he's wearing, you know, robes, but he has a small tent behind him. He does not have like a cart or wagon or animal with him. It is seemingly just him. Can the owl check inside the tent? Not like fly into the tent, but fly low and like try to peek in the tent? Um, or like perch on and like don't ne don't owls have like extendable necks? I mean, I owls have <laughs> owls have fully rotatable necks, so I they're mean, not they're that's, not that's, giraffes. Not special. Oh no, um, they can they can turn their head they can turn their head like two hundred and seventy degrees. Okay, then yeah. Um, hopefully the cover of night will be enough. So I'll just let, like lay in and like poke his head in. It's head. I don't know. If it's head. Um. So yeah, we'll say that the uh, we'll say that the owl, you know, flutters over, and it lands right outside of the tent, and starts to like poke around at the tent. And uh, before you can get a good look uh, on the inside, the man who's sitting there says, "Ah, mighty curious creature you are." And he turns around. And, uh, the fire burning behind, uh, the fire behind him, uh, kind of, you know, giving his, you know, darkening his features a little bit, uh, but you're able to make out the, uh, you're, you're able to make out the general features of an older man with, uh, sort of like dirt covered face and sunken eyes. Um, that is what he looks like. And I will... Pop that up for everyone. Kind of looks like my grandpa. Does he um, does he do anything to the owl or is he? He uh, he takes a piece of he takes a uh, a piece of the meat that's on the end of his stick and he tears it off and he throws it to the owl and he says, uh, "A hungry fella, aren't you?" I want the owl to keep looking through the tent. Ignore the food. <laughs> look, at, look, like poke his head. I, I want to get a good look at what's inside the tent. Uh, when the owl bops into the tent, uh, there's a sleeping roll and uh, there's a bow with uh, a set of arrows there as well. Okay. I guess the owl will go over and pick up the piece of meat. Okay. Uh, what do you guys do? Just gonna guard Nylar. Yeah, he hasn't relayed any of this, has he? Ah, <clears throat> uh, that's that's up to him. Yeah, like 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 I'm giving you guys a good picture verbally as I'm seeing it through my owl's eyes. Mm. Because like I can't see and. I can't hear while looking through the eyes of my owl, yeah. so... Just imagine Nylor, like, is an old man! Preferably Got nothing not really that important in the tent! I'm not screaming. No, I know. We didn't make all the hand, hand gesture signals that we were supposed to create before, or the shorthand code. Yeah. From so many sessions ago. Uh, I was considering sending my rat in, but it feels like the owl's done all of that, so, um, maybe we can tentatively just greet this dude? I mean, do I get the sense that he's non-threatening? I mean, he has not attacked the owl. 
So to, to the degree that he has not attacked the owl, you at least feel that he is not threatening. I don't like should the owl like I don't like I don't know. Like does he have a staff or anything nearby? No, he has a stick that he has some meat on and a bow and some arrows in his tent. Okay, um, I'll look at the party and uh, ask if someone can watch over Nylor and I'll walk up to the old man's tent. Yeah. I'll just kind of tap on the opening and say, hello! And, uh, you see he looks up and you see the face that uh, Nylor gave a brief description of. He says, Oh! Hello, traveler. A wonderful Let's night a to be... <laughs> a wonderful <laughs> night to be traveling up a abandoned road, I see. Uh, I mean, yeah. Uh, what are you doing in these parts? I, he sort of breathes like a sigh, almost. He says, I spend my times here. Oh, do you, do you live out here? To say that I live is a bit of a stretch. Uh-oh. It is, is it to say that life is simply survival, or is it the enjoyment that we gain from that? What ones have lost, can you say that you truly live anymore? And he takes a bite of the meat that's on the stick. What you eating? Rabbit that I caught this afternoon. That's a tricky shot. Well, it's... You, once you've been doing it for a while, you get used to it. Can I have the owl hop a couple of steps closer and see if he'll feed it again? Uh, yeah. He'll tear off a piece and throw it down to the owl and he'll say, Ah, uh, is this your little fella? <laughs> uh, not mine exactly, but part of my party, yes. The owl's, gonna, the owl's gonna cock his head and go, ooh. <laughs> As a curious little one. It's a, uh, it's a fey creature. Hmm. I thought something seemed off about it. Would you but... mind if my friends and I joined you? Oh, I please. Stay all night, but... Oh, you are welcome to. I imagine if you are heading up this road, you are going to the garden. Uh, the garden. We're we're heading mm. to the town. Hmm. The rings. Old Rain. Middle Garden. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yes. I thought you meant a literal garden. Oh no 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 yeah. Mm. I mean, hey, one time, one time it was. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll just I'll look at the owl and say, uh, just just send everybody up. The owl's gonna nod. I'm gonna unsummon it get up, stretch my back a little bit, and be like, come on guys, Zash says it's safe. And start walking towards the camp. Mm. Um, is Albina going through with the casting of silence? Um. Can that, you said, is he non-dead? Is that what we're getting? Is, he uh, is, that, is that an assumption that you have made? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, he's like, I'm not living. Sorry, that, that made that. I mean, I weird. also would say that I am not living. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna make that ritual happen. So, wait, you're ca you're how casting that, silence. How much of that conversation would we have heard or known anyhow? I I would be letting you guys know through the owl. Yeah. Okay, word for word. Or yeah, word speech. for word, like verbatim. <laughs> I, I, 
Okay. I really don't think I don't, you should cast I'm... silence on this old guy. Yeah. I... Well, so so here's he, no. here here is the thing to consider. Uh, here's the thing to consider, Hannah. When you cast silence, you're casting it in a twenty foot radius. So it would it would encapsulate the entire uh, the entire camp. Twenty feet. Mm. Right. So you know nobody would be able to hear while in that. You know, not even you guys. No, oh, that meant he couldn't I speak. Would... No, 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 no. you're like... thinking you're thinking of blindness, deafness, which is your your bread and butter. No, I got rid of that for this one. Right. Um, S- silence, what that does is it creates a 20-foot radius sphere of no sound. Like, you know... If you, cannot any... be created, though. Yeah. Yeah, like... So, like, like, he can't do any verbal components. Right, neither could you guys. None well, of yeah, us will be able to do any and, talking. Like and, and that's the other thing. None of you, None of you would be able to talk, either. I think I, I like where your head is. Go- like I like where your head is going. Like you're being very cautious, and it makes total sense for Albina. I should have just blinded him. I shouldn't have got rid of deafness and blindness. Dang it! You know what? We'll just leave it. So trigger happy. I was um, so excited to use the silence, and so no one could cast. You know, so no one could get up upper hand on us on anything. You know what? I will say. I will say that spell might come in more handy than you expect very soon. What? And the yeah. fact that you have it I, I say, might be a blessing it seems in disguise. A great spell. Just um, yeah, I was I was trying to think enough. of things. Well, because like, <laughs> we only had the time between like the beginning and then before we moved. I was trying to get all my t- spells organized, so I didn't, you know, I didn't tell you exactly like yeah. to refresh my yeah. page. And I was like, wait. So oh, we'll just we'll just roll with it for now. Bean is going to silently just watch from the back. All right. Um, so yeah, you guys, you guys make your way over to this, uh, small campsite. Like I said, you see this gentleman sitting there. He has a hood up. As you guys walk up, he takes it off. Um, I was gonna say, I and, mean, uh, uh, would pull her hood down. Okay. Especially if she saw somebody pull their hood down, like, as a sign of... Respect. Goodwill or whatever, yes. Um, and he, he sees all of you, you know, walking, you know, walking up and, uh, you know, sees the likes of Seftis and Smith, Nylor, Albina, Iluna, like all of you standing around, and he says, Well, quite a number of you. Yeah. And he looks back up at Zash, he says, So, you are heading to Middle Garden then? We are, uh, we're heading up there to look for my brother. What brings a solo traveler this way? He he said he lives here, right? That Mm -hmm. was already asked. Never mind. Okay. Rescinded. Okay. (laughs) Um, and he says, Ah, you're going searching for your brother. I take it your brother was one who has visited the god inn in time? My brother was taken. Many were taken at the god inn. He wasn't taken at the god inn. He was taken in Neverwinter and brought to the god inn. Ah. Then I then I grieve for you in your time of of sadness. It is difficult when loss is around. I nod. Thank you. So uh are are you familiar with the garden and what goes on in there? I mean we're we're going in a, a bit blind. Well, in years past, when Middle Garden was the acclaimed sanctuary of rest and relaxation, when travelers from afar would come to our hot springs, they would choose to rest. Springs have a almost healing magic about them. 
said to cure all ailments, all have all exhaustion, and some have even claimed that it revitalized the life in their bones. But in my time there, it was just a wonderful place of good people and good fortune. And he sort of, you know, he, he sort of turns and looks and kind of looking off up into like the northeastern direction. He says, but I guess that is our hubris that we lived in the shadow of the mount. And we found our destruction that way. And when we tried to pull ourselves up by our bootstraps and carry on, that is when he showed up. Uh -huh. You see, uh, yeah, he, you, you see this, like, look in his eyes and he nods and he says, the necromancer. Did we were. Take anybody from you? And he nods. He says, "We were rebuilding the town. It suffered so heavily. The destruction. The the death." And as we rebuilt, we had to bury so many of our own. And that is what he saw as his prize. I will never forget the screams. The confusion and the chaos of that night. As those of us who survived the first calamity rose from the graves to wreak havoc and kill and claim. You see a tear roll down his eye. Or roll down his cheek. Is, uh, is that why you stay around these parts? And he nods. And he says, Travelers still seek this place. A slight acclaim of the potential to rid it of the undead denizens that have claimed it. It still draws a few. It seems like quite the dangerous area. I feel like you shouldn't be here by yourself. Do you have means of protecting yourself? The creatures of Raised Garden do not come this far. The magic that keeps them it only extends so far. Do you that know was... where that starts? When you go travel up the road, I have marked it with a yellow flag. There was one... There was once an adventurer. He had traveled here with his group. I had stopped with them and talked. And we had shared stories through the night. And when they left in the morning, it was not long before the one came back alone, panting and screaming. Oh, the screams. And he looks up at all of you and, you know, with like an almost like inset terror in his, in his eyes, he says... The screams is what draws them. They follow them. But where he was able to escape them, I have mocked. I do not know the distance, for I will not travel out to there. What did you mark it with? Um, a yellow, yellow flag. flag. Oh, I, um, thought, I thought it was a different marker. Um, um... These springs, do they still run? They do. 
they are not as they are not as numerous anymore. The magma flow that destroyed the the countryside wiped out a fair amount of them. But the water the springs still run in small sections, I believe. Would they would you say they might be a benefit to us? Or not so much anymore? It is possible if they still run, they may heal your wounds. But I do not know the efficacy of them anymore. It has been too long. Hmm. Are there any discreet entrances into the garden? That's what I was going to ask. There was, but we... They were sealed after the magma flow had destroyed the town. The only way in now is through what was going to be the new town. Alright. Well, I, uh, I appreciate you sharing everything that you have with us, and thank you. You see, he, uh, he, he sort of, like, you know, looks up at all of you. He says, be warned. The few adventurers that have come back, they tell of bands of undead that rove the grounds. The one who came back Screaming. He claims that when his allies fell at the hands of those creatures, that they rose to chase him mere moments later. Give me one second. I keep hearing thumping out. I think my dog's getting into something. Okay. Alright, guys. So, new game plan. Don't die. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm assuming we're going to be fighting undead, and they could probably only be actually killed by, like, holy damage. Although... I think that's a smith question. Like, Arbina does have turn undead, and if anyone failed to say that they die, but... I don't know if she knows that... I, well, I think, isn't Turn Undead just, like, a cleric thing? Mm-hmm. Like a divinity? Yeah. Yeah, and I think at level 5 you get Destroy Undead, where if they, because normally it just fares them if they fail, but if they fail, at level 5 it just outright destroys them. Yeah. You are correct. I, I'm pretty sure, though, like, Undead just die. Like, I think they have a health pool and they just die, right? Hopefully. Smith, do you know? Turn undead? No, I'm just talking about, like, just fighting undead. Like, you can just kill them outright. Yeah? Like, you don't have to use holy damage against them? Correct. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to ask earlier, sort of out of game, if we we definitely wanted to take this route and not use that teleportation circle. <laughs> I, I think we talked here. about that two weeks ago, didn't we? Like taking the teleportation circle is faster, but take ultimately, this. like you don't know the what mystery. you're teleporting into. Yeah. Besides, this way we get a lot more fighting with undead. Maybe. Maybe teleportation circle will just drop us right in the middle of the town. <laughs> I mean, it definitely <laughs> We attacked at all in. <laughs> yeah, like right in the middle of the town square. 
just boom. Good luck, everybody else. Just see a whole bunch of skeletons turn. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> Bye, guys. Sorry about that. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Yeah, I call acid. <clears throat> so do you guys want to spend the rest of the night resting here with Mr. Old Guy? Oh, can I ask What's his, his name, by the way? Yeah. Oh, uh... <laughs> Yeah, he uh, he says that his name is uh, Aston Pats. Aston Pats. Like that? Nope. More like that. So you um, like out a game. Do you guys want to rest here with him? Do you guys trust him? I mean, we would still have to take turns, like taking watch and stuff. So a little yeah. bit. We've got two elves. Ah, but you know, we'll sit with him for a few hours if need be, with our little mim cat and chat with him. Uh, we, and we do have stuff to so do. Always saying so yeah. good. Country. Said she was just standing in straight up and watching all night. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we can we can rest Take here them. and then try to tackle the town in the daylight. That might be better for yeah. us. I'm just gonna get my bed roll out and start setting it up right next to the campfire. Yeah. Um. So, uh, Albina, you said that you were. Uh, so so we'll say that you know while while you guys are. Resting there, um, asking trees. Yeah, I mean, you guys are you're you're basically right on. Like they're they're not like you know thick and you know super clustered, but like there are trees in the surrounding area. I Luna likes trees. I mean, for resting. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's say. The higher up to rest as well. Okay. Um. So yeah, we'll say those of you that are. Those of you that are down by the fire uh, with Aston, he goes on to explain that you know after after the the town was destroyed and they were you know rebuilding it, that was when the necromancer came, raised all the bodies of those that had fallen during the uh, the eruption, and drove them across the uh, the city. And as he's telling a story, you can you can get you get a pained feeling from him. And he looks at you, Albina, watching you sit there with your mim cat, you know, petting her and caring for her. He says, "If you are going to the garden." Would you mind? Would you mind doing something for me? Sure. What is it? You see a tear rolls down his cheek again. Of the night that the necromancer claimed the city, my family and I tried to escape. My wife, Plura, and our child, Poe. We only made it so far. My son, he had a toy, a small stuffed toy. And in the haste of us trying to leave the city, we left it there. And he cried. And he cried. And that noise just kept attracting more of them. I had to bury my wife and son the next day.
if you could. The house that we were building for ourselves in the garden had a blue roof and a silver door. If you are able to make it there and back, if it is still there, could you see if my son's toy is there and bring it to me? so that I may put his soul to rest. Albina just looks at him, you know, like, her heart's kind of broken for this poor old guy. And she just pats him on the shoulder. Yeah, yeah, I can do that for you. You see a tear roll down his cheek. Thank you. Don't mention it. All right. Um, okay, so do any of you want to do anything else uh, before the next morning? Probably would have only stayed there like an hour or something with him, you know, like just chatting while everyone was kind of getting settled. Yeah. And then I would have been like, well, we should get some rest. Mm. How long have we been traveled? I mean, we traveled over a day. Uh, yeah. At this point, you know, at, at this point, it is the, it's the night of the 29th. So, with um, you guys, with you guys long resting, it'll be 6 a.m. on the morning of the 30th. Can I say I, Luna, would have looked for herbs on the way up and deal with that later um yeah that's fine we'll like i said we'll we'll we can handle that uh we can handle that later i mean if you want um yeah if you want you can uh you can make uh you can make the checks i mean it would have been a good day's worth so if you were spending you know that time being that you guys traveled at a normal pace um yeah so i wouldn't slow anyone down but she does have... Is this their first night? Yes. Yeah, she's not going to hunt for herbs during the night. Not here. <laughs> but on the way up. I was thinking she had time, but... Okay. It's important to stick together, I think. Yeah. Makes sense. But All right. I, for the walk up... What... Would I just roll nature? Uh you yeah, you make you make nature checks. Um Yeah, you you make nature with it, checks. With advantage? Well it with bloom crawler. Yeah, you would have advantage, but it depends on what you're looking for. Because I mean you, you gotta let me know what you're looking for. So, like I said, we can we can handle that after the fact. <laughs> yeah, I'll just send you a message. Yeah. But I did a roll. But we can Oh, I mean you're you're gonna have to make a couple. Like I said, we'll 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 deal with that after. Um, alright, so the next morning, you guys get up. Um and when the when the uh when Aston had uh slunk off to his tent, um, you know, he has he has not exited it at this point whenever you guys are starting to wake up as the sun is beginning to rise over the horizon. Actually it'd be rising over like Neverwinter Wood and Mount Hottenau. Should I go ahead and roll another D6 for Will or Well? Uh it's up to you. If you don't like your rolls, if you like your rolls, you can keep them. I'll be flexible okay, on that. Okay. I'll keep them. Okay. And by the way, my my feet. You you said I could have Bane slash bless, like one. Or yes, the other. because okay. Bane. Uh, that's that's a, that's like my own thing. But I can't choose. I went in to try and like get you that one, but for some reason it doesn't let me. I um, figured that's what, that was what happened. So. 
what you'll have to do is, uh, you know what, actually, let me, let me change one thing about that. Let me go ahead and manage your feet real quick. That sounds really weird. Um, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to put it on. Ben. You know what? Yeah. When he said feet, I was like, why is he talking about his feet? And then yeah. he started and he kept yeah. going and I was like, oh, never um, mind. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to put it on Bane. I'm going to put it on Bane because Bane is the one that like technically has the, the more, you know, you have to make a charisma saving throw in order for it to work. Whereas bless is you're just giving it to those three characters. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll have it on Bane, but you can also do it as Bless. Okay, I did switch a couple of my spells, by the way. That's fine. Um, you know what? Here we go. We'll just make it a custom name: Bless slash Bane. There we go. You are set. All right. So, um, in the morning, you guys, uh, do you do anything before you take off uh, from this place? It's going to be a few more hours before you reach the outskirts of Raised Garden, so. Um, so send Anime ahead a little mm. bit. She's to look for that yellow marker. Mm-hmm. Um. It, they said, like, noise, noise attracts them, so we need to be... Ex extra quiet somehow so you want me to cast silence in the ritual <laughs> all around us but it can't it can't be like around me i can't center it around me it has to be like a set spot right uh for silence yes it is a particular spot the the spell that would do what you're you. thinking uh the, the the spell that would do what uh what you're thinking is uh pass without trace Oh yeah, okay, okay. I don't know if anyone I have in that. the uh no. do you? Oh, so yeah, he does. Okay. Well, oh, it depends. I don't know how much of the new thing you're giving me access to. Oh, really um I will say that uh I will say that you have not fully it could possibly come out during this session uh or you know, in this in this scenario uh, so that that may be a thing that you you might be able to muster, um, so we'll we'll um, play that one by ear. I'll go ahead and wait to cast it until we see the yellow marker, and then as we're ready to step over the yellow marker, I'll go ahead and cast it. Oh, cast pass without trace. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And as always, I guess Iluna would have had a chat with Anime about who we're going after. How she, the whole reminder that she can <clears throat> take her leave if she senses anti magic that might make her disappear, which hmm? will suck. Yeah, yeah, it would. Can, can anime change her coloring? Uh, no. Anime's coloring is linked to Iluna's seasonal appearance, which is what right now? Hmm. Flashy red. Summer. Oh, just She's a bit kidding. fiery. Okay. Why? Well, I thought it was blue. <laughs> blue would be a sad one. Oh, maybe because I was thinking moon. Some some kind of moon. Her, or her hair is blue. Maybe that's it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's, let's get to stepping on the city. Yeah, because I had... I had but uh, quietly. Quietly, <laughs> yeah. Because I actually, I uh, actually went through, and uh, if you look in P five, I updated her tokens. Oh, I must have just to totally me. missed. Oh, I, oh, I thought Ooh. you were talking about. Oh, anime. you did some work. No, Aunt. <laughs> I Luna only had one. I Luna's had top liver. One. We want, we want to know about anime. No. We know oh. you're a princess now. Anime? Um, <laughs> she isn't going to be acting princessy. She doesn't even want to. suddenly starts know, acting but... super snobby. But if, I lose, uh, if um, somebody walks over to Albina, somehow, I need you to braid my hair like... with my tiara. Servant, I mean Albina. Gosh, I do that all the time. 
<laughs> oh my goodness, that's so old. Uh, that friendship bracelet needs to have diamonds in it now. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she uh. She no she she goes she goes into the bag of holding whenever you guys are uh, whenever you guys are taking the uh, the egg out of there and she takes a few of the the gemstones and diamonds that you guys have in there and she's just like like you know sizing them up onto her friendship bracelet you know this fucking giant These'll diamond for worth now. two thousand gold. <laughs> It'll do for now. I guess I'll have to <laughs> slum it out a little bit. I'll have to guilt trip That's dad so into awful. making me wear such a small diamond. Papa! Papa! Do you see this tiny no, pebble? She's concerned. Papa. <laughs> she's concerned if, if the world <clears throat> found out who she was. Well, she would either be not locked up, but she wouldn't be permitted to adventure with us um not necessarily yeah she might believe that or... she might believe that but i mean like out of well, character like, like out Al alagarthus is a fucking baller ass fighter ranger like he's out there fucking you know killing orcs and shit and he he is the heir to the throne she, she mostly um wanted everyone in the party to know in case somehow a rumor or word gets out or somebody overheard something yeah that makes sense why you would want to tell them puts us... so they actually know well ahead of time all right so you guys eventually reach a point along the road where you see a small yellow flag sort of draped across the ground. And there almost seems to be a dullness at that point. Looking off into the distance, you're looking into the rising sun. It's only been it's only been a few hours that you've had to walk down this road further. And the sun is still coming up, but it's almost as if there is like a like, not a haze, but if somebody turned down the saturation on everything ahead of you. Um, okay, Nilo. Gloomy. Uh, you could say gloomy, but it's, it would kind of be like, you know, if you, if, you know, you looked at like us, like two steaks and you took a bite of one and it was like super juicy and super tender and, you know, really good. And you took a bite into the other one and it's just super bland no flavor whatsoever. They look kind of the same, but there's almost like a grayish tone to the other one. Um, that's kind of the feeling that you're getting from what is ahead of you. Do we um, see any entrance or wall or anything yet? So there is still some time. Now, Nyler, were you uh, were you casting Pass Without Trace? Yep. Okay. So... How long does that last? Um, an hour. I'll let you know. It is concentration up One to hour. an hour. Yep. yep. Can we wait? I mean, any sound is what attracts them, and this is where it sound starts attracting them. So, you yeah, guys... Okay. So, you guys continue marching up. At this point, you are leaving behind no tracks... Uh, from the point where Nylor cast this spell, you see behind you where, you know, normally you would have the, you know, you would normally have your, you know, your trail. Um, the moment Nylor cast this spell, you're no longer leaving tracks behind you. Uh, and there's almost a hush oh. about this. What's up? Anime still fly a bit ahead if she sees any... Yeah, so it's only creatures. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. That it's I mean, it's it. yeah. Anime, anime would have to be within thirty feet to benefit uh, from this. So if she's farther 30... than that, she's just not benefiting from pass without trace. Oh, right. Well, she's, it's... she'd be in the air. She wouldn't be very loud. Well, no. I mean, she's not a she's I not did... a helicopter. 
I didn't imagine she meant much noise at all, because she seemed, I don't know, without a bodily form, sort of with a form and without a form, so she <laughs> wouldn't make much noise. But she's not a ghost. She is still a creature that exists. Well, then, would we be comfortable with her flying for any further ahead than the spell can reach? So... My thing is, anime is a super bright phoenix that is going to be flying through the sky of, like, a dulled-out gray area, so she will probably stick out. Now, keep in mind, she is a small beast, so she's, like, about that big, like, the size of, like, a maybe, like, a hawk or something. Which, they are noticeable in the sky. If you look up, you can see a hawk. Yeah, this but that would just draw line. attention... In the air. Right. I don't think it would draw attention to us. I mean... At worst, it's they might you. start following the bird. <laughs> right. That's that's kind of what I was thinking. Like, if she sees something and then swoops back around to get in range to talk to you. 120 feet. Yep. She can just do it telepathically. Oh, was... oh yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, it's 120 feet telepathically. Oh, okay. Well, then, shit. Go for it. I mean, she can... She would notice if she was causing a stir anyhow. I would hope. Anyhow. Anime's some distance ahead. Trying to give us some idea if there are creatures. Um, the answer to that is... Yes. <laughs> yeah. um, oh, I asked before if there's a wall or a clear entrance. Because I guess anime would see that first. So, what anime, uh, what anime sees when she is flying ahead of you guys? So, you are, you are all sort of still at the point where you have... You know, trees surrounding you. You're still just on the outskirts. But eventually, anime tells you that she sees a clearing ahead with a, with what looks like a walled off city. Um, she relays to you the information that the fields surrounding this location are littered with debris signs of destruction and the shambling bodies of creatures. One. So let me how many. Um the ones that you guys uh so she sort of does like a once around the area. She says that there are, there seem to be, you know, like, a hundred or so of them that have surrounded the entire, like, the entirety of this place. Um, but there are places where they are, you know, places where there's more of them, places mm -hmm. where there's less, and they're just sort of roaming the area. Um, did you want her to fly over the city? Um, how big is it? Did were uh, we told, like the towns? It's just a town. So were we it told was, how many buildings were being built during story time with? Um. So <laughs> they he explained that they were actually trying to enlarge it to try and draw people to it. Um, but they mostly had just like maiden structures started um, that it was that when they abandoned it, it looked more like, you know, a slum than it looked like what it was in its, in its heyday. Uh, but it was about three times as large when they were rebuilding it. So, and you can almost tell that, or, uh, yeah, I, I guess, I guess, I don't know if, uh, did you want anime to, like, fly across the city? Do, do we? 
I would, but as long as she, like, if she sees, we were told there's a tower or something, right, before then. You were told that there, yes, you were told that there is a tower in the center of it that used to be a watchtower, that that is, uh, that that is what the necromancer has sort of claimed as his own. Okay. Um, as long as she's comfortable and doing so. Okay. And staying Um, away from the tower, I guess seems the most (laughs) so the most that she's able to get uh, the most information she's able to really get to you is that it seems as if there's kind of three parts to this whole area there is a large open space between where the surrounding forests are and to where the actual like structures start Um, She says that that area is just teeming with creatures that are sort of like shambling around. Beyond that, there is what appears to be the like the more tightly dense packed buildings that she believes is what uh, is what, you know, the old man was referencing uh, when they were trying to expand it in the reconstruction process, because the there is a portion more towards the center that seems to have already been built up into more of a final structure, um, which you could imagine might have been what the original town center was, and that is where the tower is. So, getting... uh, Essentially, she is explaining that getting through the fields that lead up to this place, and then getting through the slums. Um is sort of the goal to get to the tower. Is it, is there, like, an approximate distance of the field? Uh, uh, th- this much? Uh, a lot? This much? <laughs> this much distance? <laughs> Am I, I'm not clicked on the right thing, I don't think. This much distance? I, I mean, There's I don't know how many. I don't know how many things. squares that is. I mean, it's a couple hundred feet. Well, in the United States, we measure things by football fields, which is uh, annoying to the rest of the world. <laughs> I would maybe say two football fields. <laughs> I don't know how they it's measure things in D and D. Uh, it, it it should be it should be on uh you guys should be able to see it yeah I, I have it, it set up on the map if it looks like a a grave yard yep. that's been tore up kind of tear so it it is I that want it. I want it some wallpaper. it's not very <laughs> it's unlevel you want it as wallpaper this is oh. cool. <laughs> What do you mean it's unlevel? Well, is I was gonna say, is it leveled? Is it's is it difficult terrain? No, it's not difficult terrain. Yeah, it's just yeah. there's just you know obstacles like mess, in the way like, and stuff like that. Way. You know, caskets and tombstones. I guess we're just gonna we're very gonna quietly tr- just trek on head. I mean, we know where like the tower is, right? Because of anime. Yeah, that's that, that's our. I mean, like that's and our generally because it was in the middle. Oh, the towers in the middle. So so ba- uh, here. Yeah, we... This is. Uh, I'll I'll draw a really quick thing here. So uh, essentially. Uh... Well, I mean, between I think Kane and Castiel, and I'm assuming this old guy whose name I did not make note of. Aston. Aston. I would imagine we have a generic sense of where the tower is. I mean, he used to live here. This map (laughs) is the field leading to the town? That is the field leading to the town, yes. Okay. So, what you guys are looking at 
um, is is so, there undead in this field? Yes. Yes. So the I'm gonna I'm gonna put up a picture here, real quick. In I got the impression P5 chat flying around the town that anime saw approximately a hundred undead around the entire area. Be what? So the, yeah, the so whole that's the field and the town more than just. Um, yeah, the here. field in the town. And this is, so the blue area that. is sort of like a more, like a little bit more forested area. The red is the pathway, and then the surrounding area. The city is on, is the green area. That's like the slums. And then the blue is the tower. And where, where in the... You guys are on that, you guys are on that little, that little, no, you're, you're, you're on that little red leg off to the left. Like, that's where you guys are coming up from, because you're, you're following the road that led up to the city. And the majority of the undead are in the green area, you said? Uh, There, so, anime explains that there is a lot of undead in this surrounding area, in the red, but that she also saw hordes of undead in the city. Okay. Now, um, undead being like zombies beyond... or skeletons or... Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so, I'm kind of thinking that we have a callback to when we gave anime the wand of pyrotechnics and had her shoot it off on the other side while we snuck in from the back. Remember when we did that to the orc camp? Oh, man. Those orcs. What if, what if we do that again here? She has to stay away from that. What? Ugh. But also, it would call a lot of attention to Elmo, who we're trying to like sneak up on. I mean, he's probably looking at us with some kind of I, wh- other magic, I, and you know. <laughs> so if we don't do like a distraction type deal, like how else are we going to get in? Because, like, we're not going to be able to sneak through all of this. There's no way. I mean, It's we... just too much ground to cover and too many undead. I kind of, like, I kind of want to imagine that at this moment, like, Smith and Seftis are, like, standing there like, I mean, I could destroy them. And you could destroy them. I mean, we can fight through if you guys want. I mean... I thought Pass Without a Trace was our goal to, like, walk as close to the city center as possible. I mean, th- 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 all that does is give you a plus 10 to yourself, meaning if you roll a 2, you're still just rolling a 12, and right. that's still not good. And we have a couple of people wearing chainmail, meaning they roll a disadvantage. One of them so. may or may not be on a horse. I yeah. feel like that won't do anything. If anything, that'll probably give them double disadvantage or something. I don't know. Um, um I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily say I I, w- I will never do double disadvantage but uh it would be that uh yeah, it it would it would that. yeah it would be that the uh the horses um stealth check is what we would base it on but yeah Seftus already has disadvantage so so I I guess we just we just start heading into the city whatever we attract we just kill So are the, are they like kind of fanned out the undead yeah, they're or just they sort of like, like aimless. Or... They're they're aimlessly like aimlessly Wandering. ambling about. Okay, and they're just do generic they... like zombies, skeletons. Who like do they have weapons? Do do they have robes? Do they have staves? The ones out here you can see are mostly just like plain Jane zombies. Okay. Okay. Does your pug have a diaper on? Yeah, he always wears a diaper. He pisses in the house. <laughs> And no. Right, Bobo? The diaper of shame. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good boy. <laughs> He's like, oh, if I'm a good oh boy, God. take this off. It's humiliating. Yeah. Nah, he he pees in the house if he doesn't have it, so. Okay, so yeah, I guess we just very carefully with Path, Path Without a Trace go as close and as finally as we can, whatever we... All right. 
Basically, you last for an hour. I'll cast oh, it again I... if needed, but like time's ticking. Basically, you guys are going to make uh, you're going to make group stealth checks to to get across the field without being noticed. Because, like I said, they are sort of like ambling around, so there are moments where you can like all sort of scoot together. Like, have you guys seen that episode of Walking Dead where they cover themselves in the entrails of the zombies as they walk through oh, the border zombies? That gross. Never watch that show. Gross. And then, then it starts raining, so... Yeah. And then it's... Um, I'm not opposed to the whole firework thing, but that seems like a I, group decision. I, I, I feel like, feel I feel like, like we should just avoid it go. like a backup. I feel like we should just walk. Okay. If you guys are walking, what I need is for everyone to make a stealth check. Add a plus 10 to it. And add a plus 10. Oh, well, mine's a 31. Did I accidentally click something? No, I didn't. I didn't clear that from before. Stealth. Smith has a 24. Do I have an advantage? Oh, it automatically will roll the advantage. Yeah, it'll automatically do that. The cloak. So. Oh, Aldina has a 12. Eluna has a 31. Did that? Zash has got a 28. And then Septus needs to roll with disadvantage. Did it? Uh, no, yours did not roll with advantage. Um, oh, well. So. But it's pretty high. I'll just roll again. Am I going to die? <laughs> I got a 1. <laughs> <laughs> um. I do need Seftis to roll. <laughs> Sorry, I'm eating some really spicy seaweed. Oh, shoot, yeah. For some reason, yours uh, yours hasn't come through yet, Steve. Reload. Make sure you're rolling to him and not yourself. Yeah. Or everyone, I should say. <clears throat> it should still roll regardless. Let me refresh. Do your thing. Sash got 28. That's a 38. No, 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 no. That oh, was, you got an 18? Yeah. Well, I rolled an 11 plus 7 plus gotcha. 10. 28 total. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Now, as a group stealth check, do you just, like, add them all together? Uh, no. So with the group stealth check, uh, there is a DC that I have in mind, and uh, oh, it is... Um... <clears throat> Do we have with the pass without trace? Does that give us an advantage or no? It gives you a I plus, a 10. plus 10. 10. Oh, so, so you, I got 12. Yeah, you add a 12. Um, Except just got a 22. 22. Yeah, so basically, the way that a group check works is that you all roll this, you all roll stealth, and then more than half of the group um, has to succeed it in order for it to work. Um, oh, I guess gotcha, I Gotcha, gotcha. I guess I should probably roll you can't for spread the stealth around. Uh, roll for your boy. I got a lot of water. <coughs> if I'm silent, it's because my mouth is on fire and I can't breathe. Uh, are you okay? Yeah, I just decided to try this really spicy um seaweed. Oh, okay. Well, uh, be safe. Drink some milk. All right. Um, so, yeah, I will think so. with that, you guys are able to, you guys are able to silently move. Oh, wait, wait. The, not the whole way through, um, but during that time, you know, some of the zombies are sort of meandering about. So I need everyone to roll the check again, because basically you're going to have three of these checks. Because oh. said it's about 200 ask, cause we only feet went, across. We only went like 10 feet. <laughs> uh, you went we 60 have, feet, like... uh, which was Dude, me taking into consider you, in consideration you guys dashing. Um... Eighteen, twenty-three, twenty-one, 
26 and 18, 29, okay. Oh, wait. How long has it been, Lucas? When do I have to recast it? Uh, it has not been an hour yet. Okay, will you let me know when the yes. hour is coming up? Okay. Um, yeah, it depends. Like, it's really going to depend on how long it takes you guys to get through the slums. All right. Um, okay. Uh, Did you roll for AD? I, I did. Oh no! The thing is, he is that as a whole uh, yeah, I mean, he's, <laughs> I mean, he's like, also he's also moving. Well, you said half of us. Yeah. So there's seven. You're counting. Yes, because he's the tiebreaker. The tiebreaker. <laughs> yeah. Um. All You're right. Everyone roll again. I will say, uh, Tony, sort of mm. hate you about the stealth check uh, with the pass without <laughs> trace, but uh, I respect the hustle. And you can't even say that was one of the ones that I switched because I know you've you've had that I, before. He's had yeah. that for a while. I peaks. I'm rolling lower and lower. It's a good moment that my mouth was on fire, so we could at least roll stealth checks. <laughs> I was gonna ask if anime saw like a space where we could hide once we got on the other side. So once you get to the other side, there is basically yes, once you get to the other side, and that's actually what you guys are moving to, there is a gate that you can open up, get inside, and shut behind you. Um, that is sort of the safe point. Like, you're almost there. You are Almost there, but I trip over bone. um, <laughs> Seftis, you're Seft. you know you're you're all like you know quietly and like trying to move up through there. Um, you're keeping low enough that most of the zombies there don't even notice you. Um, moving in opportune times, but. Seftis, you go to step around one of the tombstones and you bring your foot down onto a wooden casket. Um, but it creaks and clatters. But with how close you guys are and everyone else breaking off into a sprint, you are able to get just throwing yourselves into this slum as you see all of the zombies hearing this noise like coming up and around but you're able to get into the you're able to get into this area Lay. oh I guess I should probably turn on line of sight oh it is on what the fuck What is going on? Are you guys able to see your own stuff? No. I can only see, like, a jacket. Or a yep, that's what I was going to say. Something I, like that. I saw that, and then I chose my character, and it went away. Oh, yeah, yep, you guys are able to see it, but... Oh, well, um, let me see if I choose my character, if that helps. Huh, that's really weird. For some reason, on <clears throat> my on my air oh. server, I can't see the map. And um, I chose, I, I, chose, I, chose, my, and I chose my character, and I can't see anything. <laughs> yeah, now it's black. Yeah, it's black for me. Huh, that's... Ooh. Okay, well that revealed... Literally everything. Yeah, that revealed literally everything. I didn't really get a good look at anything, to be fair, because it was really quiet, but... Yeah, me neither. <laughs> what I, the uh, fuck is going on here? Print screen reflexes weren't quick enough. 
practicing hacking. I made a mistake. <laughs> Dog just teasing. I don't know. Um, I'm not going to refresh until you tell me, though. Also, I don't know if you heard me. I try I chose Nylor and it gave me Smith's token. Oh really? All right, hold on. Mm -hmm. Let me just uh said. Let me just token. let me just delete them real quick. <clears throat> uh I'm just going to I have no token. I'm just going to insert <clears throat> the party again. That sounds good. I'm gonna go get something. Cool. Oh, you know what? Ah, uh, no, I know exactly why. I'm an idiot. If you guys want to take like a quick five, sure. I'll be right back. Oh. oh shit! I know what I didn't do because I'm a fucking stooge. Does everyone? have 60 feet of dark vision yes you're all monsters we're monsters 100 percent. we're having dark vision yes oh fine monster princess i'll remember Hey, Tony. I think she's AFK. Okay. Oh. She's being pretty I want to know how James is. I haven't talked to James in so long. Working nine to five. And nothing else matters. He's alone. We we just made an agreement, Septus and I, that he's my royal bodyguard. We'll have to there you get go. Him in the income. <laughs> I'll send I I'll, I'll send a message to <laughs> Abina's gonna be a little more <clears throat> I won't say fond, uh, but caring towards you because she has a thing for orphans or people who th who she believes are you know can can understand orphans mindsets. So you're kind of a half orphan in her head. Who? <laughs> my Luna, because she mm -hmm. didn't know her dad. Yes. So now she does. And I'm like, <laughs> oh well, not missing. I mean, I Luna wandered off on her own <laughs> forty years ago. <laughs> I'm just playing up this princess thing. There we hilarious. go. I'm pretty sure I'll put the silly tiara away. All I can say is don't eat spicy um, seaweed until you're ready to like 
<clears throat> not be able to breathe for a second. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I was having, I was actually, I had to take some medicine. I, for a second, I was having a hard time mm-hmm. breathing before it. I was like, oh, my allergies must be acting up. I went and took a medication. I calmed myself because I started like, almost like freaking out. Like I couldn't breathe. <clears throat> and I was right in front of my air conditioner. I was like, okay, it's like, just calm down. Now you're just getting worked up and that's not going to help you breathe. And so, um, I had to like, you know, I was on mute. I put you guys on my speakers and I was just like, okay, just take a moment and figure it out here. <clears throat> and then, um, from there I took some medicine and it, it, it is just the humidity levels when they get so high. I'm not used to not having my air and I have it on low. So, but then I ate that spicy thing <laughs> and I was just like, Oh, I can't breathe or speak. Oh. Give me just a second, because it is... I realized the mistake I made. Um, what? That's a lie. My DM doesn't make mistakes. Don't talk about him that way. <laughs> just kidding. Um, okay. That's now running. So I'll click this, that. It's God that works. Now. All right, I'm gonna have to go one one level deeper. Ah, okay. There we go. Now that I fixed that, this map doesn't matter. This map can go away for now. This map, that it kind of has to stay. This map can go away for now. I think the problem. I think the problem was was that I had way too many maps on like saved up at any one time, um, and it was using so much, so much data memory. to have. Yeah, oh. so much. Yeah, no, that's that's the correct word. So much memory to uh, to to display <laughs> everything that having all of you on, like to get an understanding of how big this map is, like the entire map right now uh at least on my stream is up yeah i can see it like i'm hosting you by the way (laughs) wait what's open oh okay i I wanted to host the channel i don't know what that means what so if any of my followers go on to look at me they'll see you oh 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 that's cool yeah oh look at that paulina 93 commander root and astropath going on folks so uh i'm gonna wait till everyone's back so if everybody wants to give me a uh quick hey what up when you're back commander root i see that person all the time who are they i'm back back. welcome welcome back What is that eye? <laughs> what is what is that? 
Uh, token. So that is, that's actually a test token that I use fairly regularly to test out maps. Um, okay. I, I have to see, one, like, line of sight type of thing. Yes, I have one based on, uh, I have one based on, uh, dark vision, which is 60 feet out. I have one based on normal vision, and then I have one that's based on having a torch. Um, this one is my dark vision token, because, uh, what I was kind of going to explain to you guys is that, uh, the way that this is going to work is kind of like an old school RPG, <clears throat> where kind of the same rules apply when you're sort of in a maze. This is also where you have the opportunity to potentially find uh, that house with the uh, blue roof um, that uh, Aston was talking about, if you so wish to. But the way that this is going to work is you guys are going to traverse this maze, and I'm going to represent you guys as this token. Um, should you get into a moment of combat, I'm going to jump over to another map, uh, which would be this map, which represents the streets. Now, obviously, kind of, things are kind of out of scale, but uh, if you notice, each one of these squares is five feet. That means that uh, combat would essentially be whoever was first in line was the only one in combat. Um, so I'm not doing that. I kind of wanted this to be a little bit of a mixture between uh, like old school Metal Gear Solid of moving through the area. There's places to hide if you guys want to. You have your pass without trace for the next 10 minutes while you're here. Um, so maneuvering around, you guys will have the opportunity to hide if you don't want to bring so much attention to you. But should you get into combat, we're going to go into kind of a JRPG where we zoom in. We have a little bit of a bigger battlefield and you guys can do what you want. Oh, that's kind of cool. music on in my head. So, yeah. You know. <laughs> right. So, like I said, I... I what? We're supposed to see this? I can't uh, see it on Encounter Plus. I see you should be able to see a little eyeball. I see nothing. Oh, wait. You have to I zoom in. Know. I finally in the... found it. Okay, yeah, the okay. very top left. I found it. So I think I was zoomed in incidentally just on all black. Ah, I zoomed okay. out first. <laughs> found it. Zoomed in on a five foot yeah. square. <laughs> Um, okay, so, yeah, but, like okay. I said, you, you guys have basically, you, you've, you shut the doors, you can hear the, you know, the, uh, uh, from the outside, them, like, scratching away at the wood, but you have a giant bar that comes across that you're able to stop the door from being opened at this point. Um, you're sort of locked into this space, um, where now you realize that you're in this smaller you're you're in this like tightly compact crowd more crowded area um so yeah how do you guys want to go about this so where where the eye for now yes that is your like that is your group cluster um so do we want to send anime and or well piper doesn't talk she can answer yes no questions. That'll take a while. But anime can do we want to send her like tentatively a particular direction? I mean sure, why not? Um and these things that look like houses are houses or something like a house which we could go into or shelter or something. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, round with colors. Uh so so what is what is your plan? She asks if these things are houses. Oh yes, I'm sorry. Uh what you guys are 
I guess I should be a little bit more clear, uh, you know, when I when I do. So what you're looking at right now, there are houses spread throughout that, like, you'll be able to enter. Um, for example, you can see that there is a door right there. <coughs> um, but these are ones that are, the ones on the outside are ones that are, like, because of the map, I'm just going to say they're inaccessible. I don't have I don't have inside views of those. So ones on the very edge, you won't be able to see. So you'll sort of know when you've hit the edge of the map. So that's more of a game mechanic thing. Should we explore um, every single house to see if we can get possible treasures? All the treasures. So to the right, we can see a sliver of to the right, and then again, those down are the houses. You can see. Th those are the houses that you cannot enter. I've just not bl completely blocked those off. If it, you know. Okay, so it, those it, lines of sight are inaccurate. <laughs> well, I mean, not technically. You can see that they are buildings. Like you can see but that those are buildings. Beyond I mean, them. If, if that's, that's what I was saying. Oh, if that's better. I mean, if you if you want me to fully block them off i well i was i was wondering how on earth i would be able to see down this way but if i can't then that i didn't i didn't think i could and i didn't imagine or understand why we could but that's fair so this yeah, is no. a door this this is a door and we don't see any walking dead right um right now you don't so I will, I, I will, wh whoever wants to take control of the token, um, it's going to be a lot easier if one of you or if I do, because um, I will, what we're going to do. Well, I, I guess with anime ahead, if she sees that it's safe, not a lot ahead, because we, if we can't see any zombies, I imagine we would walk in Are the you direction. Is she on ground level or do you have her up in the sky? Um, uh, in the sky, but not significantly above us. I would. She's like a a, a little scout. Whole bird's eye view thing, right? Well, she, she can be higher. Just then, she'd have to tell us where the zombies are, right and left, and. I think we should just go. Pass yeah. the go you know what? We might as well fireball some stuff too while we're at it. Smith, you in for it? Well, yeah. We can walk. Yeah, I imagine okay. it looks safe to walk to that door. And if anime's ahead of us and she doesn't see any zombies. Yeah. Can we go to the door on the right hand go side? Ahead. Yes. Right? You walk into oh. uh, what is mostly a hovel. Is there anything of interest anywhere here? Uh, not in this one. Okay. Burn it down if it's no good. All right. So here, oh basic, God. basically, basically, here, here, here's what I need you to do. Whoever is taking control of this, or actually, uh, who has the highest initiative modifier? That's actually more applicable. Probably Zash. I think it's me. Um, Zash, I need you to roll know. me I... an. Uh, I need you to roll me an initi uh, an initiative check. I'm just going to roll flat d20. Because the way that this is going to work is... And this is more just seeing who's going first. You're going to be able to move your group five squares. And then I will move the creatures on the map. Oh, okay. So I'll All give right. you... So I'll give you... A, controlling it? Uh, it's... I Like I said, I can definitely move you guys. But Zash, if you want to take control of it... Just to get you like to, uh, yeah, that's okay. fine. Um, is, so is this like street sidewalk yes. right here? Okay. Yes. And uh, so yes, I, you. I think that's like the only way we can go, right? I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, we already went in the house or something. I'm like... So you have. Uh, I'll say that you have four more squares. You can move down to that intersection. I, I can't grab the token, so you're gonna have to move it. Did, did you change 
Oh, did you, yeah. Did, did you go up into uh, settings and token. change it to did dark? Test, test dark vision. I, that's too many people talking. Uh, go up into what settings. Go up into uh -huh. the settings in the top left and change your token okay. to test dark vision. There you go. Two, three, four. Left to right, guys. Oh, yeah, you. So you you would be to there. Uh, you you moving like into the room and then heading down. That was going to be your okay. first one. Okay. okay. Um. So I will say that with uh with anime flying high up above. Yeah. That's what I was trying to get at. She would try to give us where it seemed clear, and. Maybe sit on a rooftop and like roof by roof, I guess. Okay. Mm. So it isn't, so she gets, I mean, if she looks too far away and gets too much, and she try to impart too much information, I guess. Like right is clear, left is or down is clear, just pick one. But I, she would fly ahead of the direction where we were. So if we said right, she would go to the nearest, I don't know, rooftop. Okay. Like, I, I don't, can I, can I can't see what she can see. So I don't, I don't know exactly how to direct well, anime. There, I'll tell you, I'll tell you there, what, Stacy. There it is. Like, like, since, since we're moving as a group, I'll just pop another one of my owls and just do it that way. You don't need to. Because, like, she has anime that's psychically linked with her. I mean, the argument's there. I mean, technically, technically, Nylor could view through the eyes of his companion and, you know. Shouldn't anime be able to just, like, verbally tell us, like, zombies to your left, zombies to your right? Oh yeah, I mean she could she could relay that information. Yeah. Like I said, I just didn't know, like with with I with anime sitting on roofs, like she's not going to see you know everything. I think I I wasn't sure. Uh, I was kind of thinking well, like I mean, you know oh, okay that, yeah, fly. That's fine. Well, I'm, that's what I was trying to get at. She could fly above. Yeah, but. Especially like a the drone. information, I don't know. Sure, like a drone. <laughs> and relay and we... not being more than 120 feet away, which is far enough. What were you saying, Smith? Can we ask her where the house is that we're looking for? Oh, the blue where, what, and silver. What was it described? The blue roof? Blue roof, silver door. Um, okay, so, uh, so we will have, uh, so, so anime tells you that, uh, when, when she's up in the air, she tells you that there is a very large, uh, there is a very large creature that is hulking about just around this next corner. Um, there's like an alleyway that goes around here. And then she also says that there is a group of creatures moving up around this side. Okay. So... Okay. Big creature or a group of creatures? Uh, this is the one that is a big creature. She she kind of just she kind of explains that it is like searching through rubble and detritus, and it seems as if it has bodies packed on its back. The one that is moving oh, up around here seems like it is a group. Uh, she says that it is a group of zombies. Yeah, I think our best bet to the last time. Um, since since we moved our four spots, do you have to roll, or does he have to do another initiative? No, nope. no. It's just I I just had to see that who was going to go first or second. Um, oh. so yeah, okay. like I said, you guys can hear. Uh, you guys can hear, like, bemoaning sounds coming down from around here. Um, 
So we, it is. We can uh, see the doors uh, open. What's that? We can see those doors open to those two houses. Uh, actually, One. uh, this is a window. This is a door. But yes, oh. you you can okay. see into there. So it is uh, it is your turn to move. Okay. Um. Is Path Without a Trace still going? Yes. It should be, yeah. Should we try to hide well, and we... see, if, see if the group... Yeah, can we go yeah, in that yeah. house? That's what I was thinking, go in the house and hide. Is that what you want to do? Well, hide from what? The big I was thinking go in the... Zombies? Going in the south one? And see if there's a window, we, so we can see where this any, is a window if there's right a window here. to look at. Right. That oh, that is a window. Yeah, this is a window. Sorry. This is a door, so we can only go in here unless we want to break the window. I will say that then. you can see when when you guys were over here, you could see that the doorway to this one is right here. Okay. Yeah, um, just just so, go yeah. to the north one and hide. Yeah. 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 I, I was like gonna one, say one, two, three, four. Yeah, let's just hide. In if there. we can see that doorway. Okay. So you are in there. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Um and we'll say that you have, Yeah. Obviously shut the door and all that yep. good stuff. But so wait till checks. anime says pass. <laughs> um being that you guys got in there quickly enough, uh while the creatures were around the other side, uh you hear the sort of like, you know, shambling, dragging sound of undead creatures moving past the door. And then you hear it go like this direction. And then it begins to fade off into the distance. Okay. I missed what direction uh, this was. Anime Sorry. would have oh, seen right. it go past anyhow. Uh, yeah, she will relay that the that the 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 creatures have gone up around that side. Okay. Um, am I counting this as one or two? We'll say yeah, once you get out of there, that's that's where you'll start. I, I, it's stuck. I right. Really there you it. go. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's one. No, that that'll be one. Oh, this is one. Okay. Yep. Do we know the horde went this way? Do we have any tabs on the big guy from anime? Uh, no, she says that it is monster. still down in this direction. Okay, then Do I you want to just take him out? Right. No, okay. I think we try to avoid as much fighting as we can until we get closer to the tower. Okay. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, also, I guess anime would say which direction is closer to the tower so we're not, not traveling well, bizarre well, we know, like, the wrong way. Uh, I imagine we can can we so see the tower? You, you guys need we... to go from top left to bottom right. That is where oh. that is the direction that you guys have to go. Um, oh, I, be... was, I thought it was in the center. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. No, I, I must have, I did not explain that. Yeah, you, you guys are basically that's like top left to bottom right. No, that's my bad. I'll end up to that one. Um, would that have changed your mind in which direction you guys would have gone? Uh, yeah. Because okay. if, if I knew I needed to go bottom right, I would probably go to the left and just stick on the outskirts. Okay. So so we'll go here, and then do you want to go one, two, three, four, five? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No problem. All right. So then, as we go, okay, go ahead and, uh, go ahead and move your next five. Um, Iluna tells, or Anime tells you that the one in the center over here is, seems to be, uh, seems to be interested in some things that are in the ground as it's going through collecting them. Okay. Uh, oh, fuck. So, so the way that this is going to work is when you are within, when you are within, f 
three squares of any enemy, that's where you guys will have to make a group stealth check. Three squares. Oh, hey, okay. So one, two, three. We are outside of three squares. You are. Four, five, right around the corner. The oh. corner is cover. Did we get information about that blue roofed house? I know Smith asked, and I'm sorry if you answered and I forgot. Uh, no, because I don't, I do not know, I did not know if you had asked Anime to check that. Oh, yeah, I agreed with him. Okay. Um, I, mean, I will, I forgot about it. she yeah. tells you that it is sort of in the center area of this place. If we are still retrieving said maybe after we kill the lich toy guy. <gasps> maybe then we can get it <laughs> maybe then his son is already dead oh we are attempting to travel into these houses and see if they have back doors sometimes right because it would be I mean that's that's only if you tell me uh, is, is well, it I was turn? asking as a collective. Uh, yes, now it is. Okay. Um, um, you see is that this, uh, a window? this is a window. This is a yeah. door. Okay. Do we? Do I see anything in this house just peeking through the window? Uh, no. You see mostly. You see mostly just some like bed laid, like beds laid out. Some table like a table a chair uh most of what this looks like from the room that you were from the first building that you entered and from what you can see from this and even the one that you looked into the other window mostly what this looks like is like people that had set up momentary houses so that they could build them up but there's a like a lot of laden construction that you can see was going on I kind of don't want to mess with this house just because we know the big guy is like right there. So I think I'm just going to skip it. We are we're still aiming at the best path. We're not attempting to cut diagonally though. I feel like we should go south for this one. But I think the outskirts are probably safer. Slower. I mean, if you go through the yeah, houses. But... Well, the houses don't connect. Right, so they don't have back doors. Okay, animate. Do you see any back doors? I mean, she tells do you that she sees. Seem... She says that she sees doors on the houses. She does not see into than... the houses to know if the doors no. connect. If a door, I mean, a, if houses sometimes have more than one door. I mean, it's uh, obviously dumb to go in. So, so for example, I'm going to outline a whole structure. Everything that I'm highlight, everything that I'm circling is one giant cluster, but it is made up of five separate buildings. There are doors on multiple sides of this, so you don't know without going in to know if any of them connect with one another. I think we should just stick to the outskirted roads. Have an inmate let us know if there's any zombies on the roads. Because we have to go from top left to bottom right. The easiest way to do that without confrontation is probably through the roads. This is what I would assume. Because yeah. like if we get and into like, a battle, we, the sounds yeah. are going to attract everything else. So Yeah. And like with anime, if we have a horde coming, like we did a few turns ago we can just dip into a house and hide and then like if we're in that house and we see like another door or something then we can check it out okay the where's the next horde or monster aside from that big thing that we're attempting to avoid uh she tells you that there is a group down here to the south and that this thing is still lumbering about Yeah, it feels like we should go through the houses. If we go through the s is, to the uh, south, they'll eventually come to us. 
is it um is it my turn to move yet or it is sorry i just I it's all good Um, do you want do you so, want to hold there? Um, do do the pat. So this is like a group, right? It's not like a one large creature. Ah, uh, yes, it's a group. Okay, and are we still going like the same way as the other? Where if we say out of three square lengths, we don't yes. have to make cell check. Yeah. So okay. like, if you're if you're moving in the same direction as them, like they're probably gonna see you. Um, mm -hmm. but as long as you are, as long as you are actively making an, a concerted effort to hide and remain stealthy, like, you know, right. within three squares, if you're starting to shift and move near them, that's where you make the stealth check. Right. Okay. Um, I think we just dip into here real quick and see what they do. Okay. All right. Oops. Turn. See, they go up, sort of shift around, and they dip into the darkness beyond where you can see. Okay. Uh, I'm going to peek around this corner. Cool. One, two, three, four. So you can see that there, stairs? there is a st set of stairs leading up to a door right there. Okay. There's also a building with a window right here. So, yeah, I think I think jump I, is that one or like can I get to the top of the staircase? I'd say you get like to the top of the stairs. Okay. Are you heading into that room? Uh, I mean, like, yeah, we can check it out because <laughs> I don't really know what that group down there is gonna do. So uh, this is the uh, same room that you were looking into whenever you. Oh, okay. Mind. Okay. Uh, it is your it is your move. And it's uh, safe to come back out. Um. Anime says that there is a group that is coming around this direction. Shit. Okay. And the to the right is some collection of buildings, like not officially connected, but In, they're they're of all buildings. collections of buildings. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna okay. pull I'm gonna pull back the veil for just a quick second. See how they're all like connected, but that does not necessarily mean that there are doors like, inside. Like units, yeah. Right. Okay. Um. Build like that. Anyhow. So does um it, hypothetically, if uh we cast silence and we fireball through a room, can can we do that? Will that does fireball uh make noise? Oh shoot. Sure. Fireball definitely makes yes. noise. Uh, it's a giant it's explosion. It's not a verbal. Okay. Well, I mean, fireball is uh, fireball is verbal, somatic, and material. Um, but it is a giant explosion. Hmm. So, I mean, if you Ooh, cast it. if if you cast silence in a twenty foot in in a space, and then Smith cast fireball at the dead center of your sphere of silence, it would not make a sound. That's just some ingenious planning. That's, that's pretty smart. Okay. Um, you also so see that does there animate... is a door right Oh, there. you were saying. Oh, I'll there's just a say, door right there? There's a door right there as well. Can we dip in there? Sure. Yeah, we're gonna chill in here. Okay. 
anime tells you that the zombies are moving through that open way. And that, like, courtyard? Yeah, and they seem to be going up this direction. Okay. Didn't tell us about them ones. Didn't tell you about what ones? This, to the south. Who'd she? Uh, no, because she was, she was more concerned about, like, seeing which way. I mean, I'm only giving you, like, within so many, like, within so many squares that she's... No, I understand. Alright, uh, that is on you. Well, there's right. She tells you that, that there is nothing currently right. up around this side. Right. Yeah, I guess we have to yep. kind of go inwards now. Yeah. Just let me know when I have to recast Pass Without a Trace. Gotcha. Alright, she tells you that a group is moving this direction, and the group that was down here to the south is starting to come up this direction. Okay. It is your turn. This group was moving this way? Correct. I don't know, could I do this? And... Can... No. Can Sorry, I what... peek a corner? Like, is that a... Because, like, I, I'm trying to do this, like, without metagaming. Yeah, no, I get you. But no, I you, also... you can definitely peek around a corner. Okay. Oh. Well, if anime said it was over here, I don't see why... Walk. Um, do we go riskier and stay out in the open or just try to dip into a house? Right now, the only door that you had seen around you was this one back yeah. here. So I thought, now we're going back north. Because what I'm saying is, she said there's a group going this way, which I think it's going to come down like this on us. Maybe just Fuck hide it. in the house and Only if we're check. Only if we're yeah, we can safe. we can kind of burn around and see where they go. I, that's definitely what's safer. Okay. All right. So, anime uh, anime tells you guys that the ones that were. The ones that were moving up towards you have gone up this direction. And, or sorry, my apologies. The ones that were coming up this way have moved past you. You guys basically heard the moaning sounds outside of the door. And they continued up and around. And the ones that were coming this way have moved down. They basically pincered across there and they've moved down past you. The ones that moved up this way have gone up. She says that they've gone up to the Y and to the left. Okay. Uh, so it is your movement. One, two, three. It's locked again. Oh, sorry. That's good. I got you. There you go. We don't want to go south. I'm... Uh, you have one more square to move. Do I? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Then we go north again. We sure are. Meh. <laughs> 
All right. Uh, it is your move. All right, as you get closer to this area, uh, you hear that rumbling, thumping sound in here, uh, as you did before. Mm -hmm. All right, that is your turn. Two squares on that one. One, two, three. So as you get around here, you see that there is a door right here, and the pathway goes to the left and to the right. And up here, you can see a group of zombies shifting to the right. Um, can Anime see if there's anything over here? She tells you that there is a small courtyard just on the other side of this building right here. Uh, but she says that there is a gate that seems to be blocking the alleyway right about here. So that leads to a dead end? Not so much that it leads to a dead end, but it leads to a gate. Okay. Uh, well. No, there's stuff to do. Oh my god. What's up? I just, I don't know where to go, because I can't oh. see anything, right? and this is just wrapping me way further north than I thought it was going to. Can I, can I give you one hint? Please. You're Mind on the right, plan. you're on the right path. Okay. <laughs> Legitimately, I'm very surprised that you have taken the path that you have, and it is, <laughs> it is one of the ones that works. Let's think outside of the box, see? I mean, Literally, you're I going mean, outside I of the really, box and then straight down. <laughs> like, we're supposed to go this way. Yes, I agree. I think this is five, right? Wait, did that jump me up one? I don't know. Oh, no, it's fine where you are. Okay. Um, you hear the uh, anime tells you that the hulking creature is still over here. She says that there's a, okay. a road that cuts to the left and one that cuts to the right, but the hulking creature is over here, and there is a group of zombies over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shit! Uh, I'm put the corner. That's not. Three. Is that a door? Uh, there is. Here. There is a door oh, right here. here. Yeah, I think that's our play. I think has to, that's like there. the only thing we can do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. the door. They see us and they bang down the door. <laughs> you hear shuffling and shifting outside the door. The thumping and thudding of that large creature. And Iluna tells you that there is no more creatures this way, and the group that has come out has gone this direction. Okay. Why does this not let me go out of buildings? Uh, because I have the door shut. Oh! That makes sense. Okay. Yes, well, so they don't come in and shut. get us. One, two, three, four, five. This is where you see the gate. Everywhere? Okay. Oh, that's yes. the gate. Yes, this is where you see um. the gate. Oh, shit. You know what? I just realized. Hold on. Give me one second. I'm sorry. That's... Tis, tis my fault. Uh, I just realized that I technically put that on the wrong kind of... Uh, mm. The wrong kind of uh, terrain. One second. Delete that. Go. Sorry. Ugh. That and is it? Yes, invisible barriers blocks movement, but not. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. So you see okay. right there. Um, 
right here, there is a gate that you can see through. You can see that there is a group of zombies over in a farther courtyard. Is What is this? That's a door. That's a door? Yeah. Okay. And um, you can see... Beyond you can see as you as you glance in there that there is another doorway down here on the underside of it. Okay. Oh, that one. Has well, it, is it my out. turn? Because that was yes. that was my fifth. Okay, so go in here. Two, three, four, five. Did you want to shut this one? Can we shut? <clears throat> yeah. Yes, please. Just please. But quietly. Damn it! I'll cast silence right when you. <laughs> <laughs> Let out the frustration. All right. Um, I anime tells you that the ones right outside in this courtyard uh, are basically just sort of ambling about, and they are they do not seem to be leaving. Pitches. Okay. He knew he wasn't gonna let us do this entire I thing without know. one fight. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, You're on the right track to my trip. To my trip. I mean, trip. <laughs> so, do we want to just do the silenced fireball idea? Uh, yeah, I'm waiting, Smith. Cue me. I mean, like, like Hannah, like, we can just chill, and if they're gonna sit there for ten minutes, you can just ritually cast it, so we can try to save as much. Exactly. Fireball. That's what I was hoping you would say. So I'll be just gonna ritually. Right <laughs> Lucas is like, how can I make this not work? <laughs> no, I love it. I, I love mean, the ingenuity. So I just had this idea. It's okay. based on the fire firework thing and the whole silence fireball. Would it be ridiculous to draw them all to one place and Silence fireball as many as we could in one fell swoop. I mean, no, that's like, a really good idea. Clump them up into like. Tw <laughs> but then no, again, come the, the, in whole, the over whole reason here. we the whole reason we didn't do the fireball is because we're trying to be as stealthy as possible, not just for the zombies, but for the necromancer himself, yeah. who may or may not know that we're mm -hmm. already here. But we don't know that. Like, why? Why risk it? Like, like, like we are we stealthily stealthily got through the majority of the town. We, if we could silently kill this little group outside here, I think we're good. Hopefully. It was Hopefully. just a I mean, like, suggestion. No, in theory, like, it's a really good idea. Like, if we can just group up a bunch and then Clump. just alien it all down. Too bad your yeah, mouse, like, your mouse friend idea. can't, like, lure them in. <laughs> but yeah, come the chase a mouse. <laughs> like, them, like, should just be out there squeaking. Animals. She brings one at a time in. <laughs> All right. Well, whenever you two are ready to uh, combo these bitches. Are you doing this, Smith? How many are there? Um, are they all fireball range? Like one in, fireball? Them all in, or what? In that group. Um, oh, shoot. Let me. Uh, like. Right here. It and doesn't catch one of the houses on fire, though, will it? I mean, silence does not stop flame. That's I mean, what I'm saying. It looks pretty flammable around here. Um, I I would say, Smith, so there is there is about 12 zombies in this collective. Um, with how they're sort of ambling about uh you imagine that if you wait for the most opportune moment you might be able to hit them all thanks um so yeah <laughs> fucking hell <laughs> this is genius and i love it well, what's um, what's radius on the silence is it 20 foot 20 foot it's the same <laughs> fucking size <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh so basically what happens you like you, just like you, the old days smith yeah <laughs> you begin to cat yeah just like the old days uh you begin to when you were you, teaching me <laughs> you you begin to ritually cast silence 
after the ten minutes, you you have this spell, and you cast it out into this courtyard. And at the at the right moment, Smith, mm. you cast out a fireball, and it lands in a spot right in the center. You feel a shuddering around, like you you feel the heat of the fireball sort of blast back in you know all directions. You see the light of it sort of, <clears throat> but it's just. There's no sound whatsoever. And you see all the zombies that are in here, they they are scorched to a crisp. Nice. Okay. Albina just goes over and high fives Smith. Mm-hmm. They're just dead. No rogue flame. Uh they are burnt and they are on the ground. Oh. Well, the but way you just answered that question dead. scares me I a little know, bit. Not a lot <laughs> they were originally already burnt and all dead. I, get, I, I mean, well, we're testing the waters, folks. Um, get hit by twelve attacks of opportunity at once. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Is that? It's like the yeah, that's blocked. Right, four and five. Just step all over them. Look, now you got crispy undead on your foot. Okay, just padding. So when you have uh Albina something to detect undead. I don't know if she has detect good and evil. Definitely don't have that. No, she doesn't. She has um I've changed I changed. Undead. No, do I? Well yeah, no. you have you have turn undead, which is an ability. Which... Which at level five destroys all undead if they fail. The save. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. If they, yeah, if they fail the save, um, actually, since you're yeah, it's CR half, which means that uh, hmm. all normal zombies that you would encounter technically, if they, uh, you know, if they they fail their save, they're just instantly poofed. Because those all CR fourteen, uh, one fourth. All right, uh, Zash, uh, go ahead and move. Uh, uh, well, first, is there anything down here? Uh, anime tells you that there is there is a group that is moving up this direction, okay. and there is a group that is moving this direction. There's also another one of those giant lumbering hulking creatures over here. Okay. Is there is there a door? Anywhere oh, here? There is a door right here. Okay. There's also a door over here. So we have one coming up this way that we need to dodge. Correct. Okay. Uh yeah, I guess we're just gonna go into this door here. Okay. How long do you want to wait in there? Until this bottom group either goes up here or this way. Okay. Or down somewhere else. So. We're not opportunists enough to raid any of these rooms. <laughs> there's there's really not much in. Not, uh, not in the top yeah, list. We're in the I'm slums. Just, I'm just. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was going to so, be new builds. So. Anime tells you that the group that is down here has started to move up and around, and the one that is up here has gone up and around, but she explains that when she looks at this group, she sees there's another one of those lumbering creatures up here as well. Okay. Um, but as soon as you go to open the door, she says that she thinks think she saw the lumbering creature down here beginning to move. Okay. Did she say what way? Uh, this direction. Okay. Where was the direction again? I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't see anything. This direction. Oh, okay. I haven't too zoomed in. I was like, I don't see anything. Okay.
I'm locked again. Oh. Four, five. Okay. I mean, there should be anime vision. Uh, I mean, hey, if if you guys, I mean, if if you guys would have, uh, you know. Mm done the Nylor thing, I probably would have just opened up the map to you guys. Because if Nylor was just, like, peering down. <laughs> Michael? How is uh, that yes. any different? Anime is saying what she can see. Anime is telling you what she can see based on, you know, like, she's relaying as much information to you as possible. It would be different if, you know, it would be a little bit different if Nylor is able to discern a little bit more. I'm I'm saying it based on anime versus Nylor's like intelligence. Okay. So I didn't think she had different intelligence. Uh she has an eight. There's... So she's smarter than your average bear, but Yeah, I know she's not like she can relay all this stuff in, in mm. comprehensible sentences. Yeah. Of... So it would be yes, more no. it would be more akin to like you guys having you guys having more visual access to like more if it was you know like if Smith cast fly and was like you know sixty feet up in the air or something like that um all right, anime tells you that there is a group that is heading up the alley that you are about to turn up to. It's heading north? Yes. Uh, what about this guy down here? Uh, she says that the... That there oh, is wait, a group... She already said he was moving... Okay. Right, there is a group. There was... The giant one is moving this direction, but there is a smaller group. There is a, a group of smaller ones moving up this direction. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Uh, one, two. What's the pings on this group and this group? Uh, she says that this one is going up, is going up further, but she says it does lead to a dead end. There's one of those lumbering hulks that has gone from here and moved over, and it is with a smaller group as well. And the southern group? The southern group is moving up in this direction. Okay. Uh, I think we're just going to house again, then. Okay. Do we get the sense that we're still going the right direction? Uh, I mean, you guys are very close to, like, physically in location. You are closer to the end now. Um... I will say that you guys are at least on the right path. Wouldn't anime be able to see that type of thing? What's that? The more the more obvious path to go, though. So I mean, we're the, trying to keep safe from zombies, but like. So they're like that's that's sort of the thing is like you guys are on that path. She has yet to have to tell you guys, you know really one way or the other like you guys have gone the right path she can't see what's in the rooms because like possibly some of the doors yeah. lead to other sides but uh so she tells you that the group that has gone up this way has turned around and is starting to come back okay and as she explains that, she notices that the group that you guys fireballed is starting to rise again. Awesome. <laughs> Are they Why? just skeletons now? 
Uh, their flesh is burnt and roasted. Okay. Uh, Some pork rinds. Is the is the fruit that's doubling back has it passed us yet? Uh, at this point, it has. Okay. So, anime explains that the group that is down here has started to move this way. The ones that you guys fireballed that are roasted are starting to move out of that courtyard. But she explains that ahead of you, up around here, is another gate. But there is one of those giant lumbering hulks there in the center of it. What's this way? Uh, this way, she explains that there is, uh, there's two groups that are sort of going to the south. Okay. Um. Eesh. Okay. Which direction takes us closer to our goal? From what she can tell, you have to go up and around. Okay. Okay. At and that puts you... Better sense. I mean, we seem to have things every and direction. That so. puts you right in this pathway of the lumbering Hulk. Correct. So, okay. well, we just keep that in mind five. whether we go that way or not. Well, I mean, she said that's the way we have to go, so. <clears throat> yes. I agree. We just be cautious. Um, so, like I said, she explains that, you know, the groups, uh, you know, they're, they're, the groups are all sort of moving about. There's really none that are directly around you at this moment. Um, um, I kind of had a question. Mm -hmm. If over all this time, these, we feel these creatures are slower than typical people like if we were running it would be significantly faster than them um or they seem like they have they might move at speed when they're ambling past i believe so I mean, i'm sorry uh yeah they're they're just a little bit slower you imagine maybe like you know two-thirds what you guys can run Uh, is it my go? Yes, it is. Oh, so, sorry. Huh? Oh, he's in... Oh, okay, okay. That is the gate. Oh, okay, okay. It was on the other side of the gate? Yes, it is in it's this... shut and he's inside um, the gate. So, as you're head... Like, as you get around there, you sort of realize that it's actually not so much of a gate um as it is more like there is a there is a structure there that is okay. that you would have to like you know go through like you imagine you could open it because it, it's more or less just a door uh but this is like a destroyed house that has been okay. made into like an alleyway okay um and we still pass without a trace up right you do Okay, um, what if we, like, silence right here, and then try to sneak through? Yes, no, maybe no. Um, you mean, uh, you want me to cast or a ritual? Sorry. I, I'm, I'm asking, like, do you guys think that's a good idea, or should we just try to stealth pass? Because we're going to be within three squares of this guy. So we're going to have to stealth check. 
I think if we silence and he's still, I mean, we, we still have to do a self self check, right? So then we might not be able to do any kind of anything in that time. We'd have to do melee, pretty much. So that's the only thing I think. I, I think know. we should just try stealthing. I think it'll, yeah, I think we'll be fine. All right. Okay. Um, I need everyone to make stealth checks. Okay. Still with pass without a trace, right? Yes. Yep. Ash is gone from this plane of existence. Oh my god. Oh my god. I rolled a natural 20. My my with advantage was low and then slightly higher. Mm -hmm. Like. What the hell did she do? Trip all over herself? Well, I mean, it's still a 17, because we've passed without a trace, so it's not horrible. Okay, I had a 1 earlier. Didn't I get a 7? Oh, I looked at the actual number I rolled, and was too horrified to see the number added together. Because I got a 2. The shadowy veil that is protecting you from (laughs) Nylor's spell is now has shielded you from this thing's vision. You are able to move past it. I think this was three, so I think we're five right here. Okay. This lumbering hulk is just sort of milling about in this area, going through the rubble, debris, and detritus. <laughs> Hope he's having a grand old time. Um, yeah, hopefully he's doing something to occupy him. <laughs> Anime explains that uh, there is a group that is coming up this direction, and the groups that were down here that were moving, uh, the one, mm-hmm. the one has uh, sort of like turned back. Okay. Michael. Yes. That's all. Uh, we're up still here, going you come. The direction. Up, up here, you come Sorry. to a. Uh, you come to, like, a three-way point that has three doors. Okay. No, um. Oh. I thought anime suggested we, we were to... going up in, like... Are we able Shh. to check the houses? Like, in one go? Um, yeah, I would say... Like, if any of them have a secondary exit? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, anime was basically telling you guys you have to go through where that that giant oh, creature was. Thought... Okay. That's what so I we thought. we have to go this Whoops. way? Yes. I thought she was saying go up. You know, let's oh. silence and fireball again. I'm scared we're going to use all this. Yeah, she, was, she was basically yeah, saying I... to go up and around. Oh, so I just went too far north. Through. Yeah, I mean, it's alright. Oh, I mean, it's always good to explore. There could have been another way through there that she yeah. would not have been able to see. Is there anything in this house? True. No. Well, I mean, it sucks because now we're going to have to do another stealth check to get past this guy. I, I, I fucked up. What? Don't forget. Okay. I guess just sit in this house and wait to see what the horde that was coming up on our asses is going to do. Okay. Um, you hear the the moaning sounds of zombies moving past the door that you're at, sort of pausing there for a moment and then coming back down. Uh, Anime tells you that they've gone back down the path that you guys came up. Um, She explains that the one that is still in this area is still rooting through the debris. um, And that the one hulking creature has uh, that had gone from down here had gone up and around that is now in the courtyard that you guys had cast the uh, the silence fireball. Oh, shoot. <laughs> um, I'm going to say with the amount of time uh, the Pass Without Trace has now worn off. Okay. Um, I'm locked out of the thing. Nope. Just let me know when you want me to recast it. 
So when we when we snuck past the house that had the big guy in it, yep. Was I able to see in? Like, do we have to try to cut through that house? Um. So th- there seems to be a pathway to uh, here. I'm just gonna, you know, don't think of yourselves as there, but like there seems to be a pathway through there to another alley. Uh-oh. Need to send the rat. Send the rat. So that's the way we have to fucking go. All right, we're gonna fight. Send the rat. Have it bite its ankle. We sneak through. Do you guys want it, Lucas? <laughs> how how the, would the DC be higher? Slash, would it be impossible to literally sneak in the same room around this guy? Yeah, I mean, he would. He would notice you unless you guys, unless you guys cast like, like blindness on him. Um, but he because he, he would see us. It didn't. It's not anything about like footsteps or sound or anything. He would literally see us. Yeah, like you guys are walking into the to the same room that he's like, you know, it, it I I I guess I can I guess I can sort of give you like a better representation of what this thing looks like. I'll throw it up in uh P5 chat. Uh it's known uh, as a, it's known as a cadaver collector. Uh, um it has bodies nice. on its back uh and it's basically it's rummaging horrifying. through because it, it you you might you might imagine that it might smell death. Being this kind of like, oh, we're we're gonna have to turn around and go back. Yeah, cast please. spirit guardians. <laughs> okay. Um. I was just wondering if Anna, if we went the wrong direction, my anime wouldn't have been like uh too far or through the gate. Well, again, she. I mean, Not she like, sort of like, she she gave like, you guys an. She she gave you guys the understanding of of the direction to go, but again, she can't she get through the doors. So she can't go. get down into the doors to open them to like you know see if there's no. another pathway I to go mean... up through there. So can you put my spirit guardians on there? I already cast it. I'll take that into account if we move into combat. When we move um, into I... combat. I... Oh yeah, I thought we were moving. I'm sorry. I did not know we were playing past eight o'clock today. Um. I wasn't, Holy shoot! I wasn't intending on it. <laughs> it's eight o'clock. Yeah. I, so I was hoping for it. <laughs> so we why why don't we so correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe I have finally gotten you guys in my little trap. Uh, is I imagine the next uh, the next option is for you guys to get through there and try and fight this cadaver collector. I mean, it I mean, seems like that's the only way to go. Like, I silence don't know. and then this is fireball. Really hard to fucking navigate with like constantly losing. I know. With the fog of war. <laughs> so I'm gonna retcon my because I thought we were already moving into combat. I'm just not gonna cast right now. I'm gonna wait <laughs> until well, we decide. I guess. Um. Well, yeah. Well, we might as well. Uh, decide so we don't have session next weekend right yeah we don't have we don't have a session next week no. so That's uh, like... holding out hope that this one would be a touch longer <laughs> i mean that would have been fine if i was aware of that like i i have yeah. dinner plans yeah it's all so... good man it's all good like well, said, yeah, cause like, it's like it's like three like if, hours if, 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 right? if, if somebody would have been like Hey, we plan on play, playing to like nine today. I'd be like, okay, then here, let me push my plans. I, I generally so you didn't don't. get the memo for midnight. That's what I, <laughs> that's what I suggested <laughs> last time we played. I was trying to bring that up, say, no, yeah, I never. Do we want? Well, do we want to play longer? I, I jokingly said get full day off, but I I, meant- I, ge- I generally don't try and go more than four hours, mostly because I I start to get burnt out at like four and a half. Yeah. yeah, and you just so. worked all day, so yeah. And so I, I am getting a little bit of a headache, so I yeah. wouldn't mind just calling air. It's all good. Like I said, that's yeah. You I, need to I'm, eat. And I'm perfectly water. fine with that. Uh, we will pick up next session where you guys uh, can make the choice of whether you are going to hail Ritual mary try silence and, again. Ha- yeah, hail mary try and <laughs> sneak past it. Let's I will. Burn I will. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can definitely try that. Um, which will which will initiate combat, um, yes. <laughs> or any other solutions that you guys might find. Uh, but we will call it there. Sounds right, good. 
Good night. Thanks. Enjoy your dinner. Actually, Talk to you guys later. See you, buddy. Yeah. Later. I actually thought there'd be combat for those who like combat more than I do. Oh, I was excited Finally. too. And he's like, I didn't know we were extending to last night. I was like, what's he talking about? It's like six o'clock. Not. Well, I kind of, I kind of like would have had you guys do combat.